so we're, when last we left our heroes, Matt O'Driscoll, how did, how, what is the reason for this thusness and why are things as they are? What happened? Yeah, what happened last time? What, what happened? We, uh, we built a shrine. Uh, a few of us, we helped uh, the Veles build a shrine. Uh, and um, the Golden Knight was very impressed, which kind of made us a little bit. Uh, <laughs> well, because now you have some context for that, right? Dale writes yeah. out a history of what happened to her, and this is the first time the Gold Knight gets a chance to find out how her experience is different from yours. Right. <laughs> She's like, "Uh huh." So that's how that's what happened to the. <laughs> that's what. That's the, yeah. It's just at the time we were like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> like, what oh, is awesome. that? What's that about?" Yep. It was so yep. rude. <laughs> Put yep. a bit of effort into this. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so the Golden Knight uh, says, "Come on, let's get get you through Equinox, and we're gonna." get you to the uh, place where you can get home uh, so we kind of travel through we get to a point where Golden Knight goes well this is kind of as far as I can go um, this is where this is where you're going to actually uh, transmute back to the, uh, transmute. back to the other uh, the other world and we're like okay there's a little bit of orb drama when the orb comes out and the golden knight tries to touch you like oh get away from that anyway so we get in there we start think we think okay well we've got to do this uh it's time uh you know it's time for us to move or move on for this world and at that point the golden knight's like hurry up they're coming for you so we kind of get into the um we get into the circle and at that point the uh shadow beasts uh appear while Lavellis is uh, attuned to the orb and starts the, I don't know what you'd call it. You call it a ritual, not yeah, a ritual. Ritual, no yeah. rituals. Yeah. A ritual. Okay, yeah, a ritual to start start the uh, transmutation back to the other world. Uh, and so we have to have a little bit of a fight with these um, uh, with these shadow beasts. Uh, which you know what, I think we did a pretty good job of that fight because like at the at the start of that. Dale's like, go, let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's see. We're all going to die. There's like five of them. And I think we killed two, you three. You killed at least three of them, I think. Right. And there was a real three. cool moment. It was very impressive. Where, yeah, it was a real cool moment with one attacked uh, or killed one of the villagers. And Zoga used his tactical uh, insight or whatever it is. He's like, well, okay, that, that shadow beast is going to carry on eating that granny so that's good so i'm going to come over here and help vanasaur which helped us take out uh another one of the beasts so that was cool our apologies to grandma tinny yeah well you know <laughs> she's dead it's already uh, gone she's, a, she's dead <laughs> she's of interest now only to historians uh and then also during the fight obviously uh there was that bit where the the gold knight is fighting the uh, uh what was it called i forgot shadow angel i think and uh during that fight the uh, gold, uh, gold knight helmet gets knocked off, and I think Vanna saw the time and noticed. Like, well, hang on, that looks like a very, very old Oren. <laughs> what's, what's going on there? Uh, and so the golden knight kind of, we kind of get get to the point where the ritual starts working, and we can kind of feel ourselves becoming hungry, and we're starting to lift out of the world. And the golden knight shouts something like, "Finally, uh, you've accomplished it." And we start to travel uh, back through and see lots of dope shit. <laughs> and yeah, here yes. we are. You saw, yeah, you saw a lot of dope shit. Oh, the good description. Right. I, think yeah. that's, I think that's how we described yeah. it at the time, because well, yeah. I haven't wrote anything, so dope shit. And, and we literally just plop. We found ourselves here in the Blood Skull Barracks, which are on the southern side of the Wode. I think we're on the southern edge. And again, I think Zoga... Uh, I can't remember if you have to roll something or use the tactics thing again, but you basically just said, the White Ravine, it's over there, run. And uh, that's where I'll go back to. So yeah. this is a um, this is a fortified outpost of the Blood Skulls. There are several of these in their territory. This marks yes. the southernmost, one of the southernmost boundaries of their, of their region. And there are actually quite a lot more... Um, and much nastier blood skulls here in these barracks. But this is not the entire map of the barracks. This is just the edge of it. Uh, there is a gate that you can't see because it's underneath this uh, stone structure. And in fact, is I could probably... Is that what that line is? Yes. That line is it marks where the gate is underneath there. And where um, this dude is standing, there is a... Um, like It looks like a... Um, the steering wheel of a of a sailing ship right it's a wheel with spokes on it and it's there's a, a he heavy rope that if that dude uh 
l- l- pulls, it will lower the gate. The gate is currently up. And, um... Well, uh, well wait a minute. Okay. So right now, all of these dudes have free access to run out to where you guys are and slaughter all of you. Um, and, uh, and uh, before you roll initiative, they can try. Grunts, grunts are minions. <laughs> and these minions are just slightly different than regular minions in that they do not, um, they do not, they do not threaten. So if you're standing next to one of them, you can fuck off and they won't get attacks of opportunity on you. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Sorry, say that again? These minions are special minions that do not have threatened... They do not threaten. They don't have... Um, they can't provoke attacks of op- They cannot... They cannot take attacks of opportunity. So oh, if, you're, cool. if you're standing next to one of them and you just want to fuck off, they can't stop you. Awesome. Are they surprised that we are here? Yep. Sweet. They are very surprised, but you are also surprised that they are here. So unfortunately, that cancels each other out, and it's a normal initiative. Just gasping. Fair enough. Oh, you. Okay, initiative. Uh, Okie doke. Why do I always drop one initiative? I don't know, because you don't, because you, because for some reason you refuse to just drag it onto one of the hotkeys. Oh, I have got it on a hotkey. For some reason, (laughs) it didn't do any good. I got it. Whoops. Wow! Oh, oh, yes. I threw the dice really hard. That's yeah. the key. We need, me poorly. and Zoga need a high initiative here, because we've got to take out this arse oh, and shut this gate. Come on, Zoga. Oh. Okay, well, the good news is that <laughs> Zoga can <laughs> swap his position. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, hey, Solvi. What's, your, what's going on with you, Solvi? There he is. Actually, Solvi's Solvi's initiative is pretty good, or at least his. Yeah, he kicks ass. He's plus seven to initiative. Not as good as Co, but good enough. Um, all right, Co. There is a basically a small. There's like a battalion of hobgoblins uh, behind you. Um, I'm gonna switch. No offense, I gotta switch my initiative with Co. Yeah. 100%. Oh my god. Wait, you can do that. That's that's what, yes. one of the yeah yeah I would actually appreciate that because I'm sitting here going man I would love to close that gate but while I think Ko is wise I don't know that his thought would be like I should go close that gate and leave Aunt Polly like so yes please switch that and okay that so that, uh, that means Zoga is going to be going on twenty nine and Ko is going to be going on four I got it close. Can I move myself one closer to Ann Polly? Um, n- no, but I can move Ann Polly one closer to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. Whatever. That works. Here, you can be here if you want. Hey. <laughs> uh, so it's uh round one begin. So there's a right. shitload of hobgoblins here, including a couple of hobgoblin guards who are um, not just regular idiots, and they're a little bit disoriented and don't know exactly what's going on or what to do, but they're, they know that you're not hobgoblins, so. Yeah, so step one, uh, I'm going to go over here and oh. chop this gate. Uh, go so ahead. I'll- yeah, go ahead and um, make a basic attack against the, against the rope. Cool, yeah. Yep, that's that's more than you need to hit a, a stationary inanimate object. Uh, Bam! Go ahead and go ahead and roll damage. It has some hit points, but it's just a piece of rope. Eight is uh, two more than you need. So the so Zoga uses his Death Stalker longsword to hack at the rope that is holding the gate up, and he's able to slice it through in one shot. And uh, the you all can hear the gate go. <laughs> and slam into the ground and there's a huge cloud of dust and now the south the the yeah the uh, north side of the barracks you can hear the noise in my head so exactly (laughs) so now all these guys are cut off from the outside but there are still a bunch of assholes on the outside all right and i so i can't split my move can i you cannot split your move cool all right well that is that's my turn 
All right, it's Solvi the Bald. And Solvi the Bald is like um, pretty substantially disoriented. Um, <laughs> wow. Wow. Dale. Dale, Dale, I can't Dale. believe you. Dale. I can't believe <laughs> this is so embarrassing of me. <laughs> um, I mean, there was video evidence of me not. <laughs> <laughs> Solvi's, um, yeah, he'll, he'll target a, this grunt. And uh, he says, no, bad big goblin. And I guess, yeah. So he um, takes a potion from his belt and throws it at this grunt. And he misses. That's annoying. Uh, So he is going to... um, Well, he'll, he'll... He's gonna. He's not. He's not a party member. So he's gonna wait and see what you assholes do. Orin. Orin Prime. Uh, Orin Prime. We're. Yeah. <laughs> we. We are running. Sorry. Correct. Yeah. That's what. That's that's what Zoga that, that told you to do. Assumption. Yeah. You are standing next to, by the way, Orin, and it's as obvious to your character, uh, uh, somebody that is not a grunt. Yeah. He's got a longer name than grunt. But yeah, Zoga did tell us to run. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, like, because if I just bolt, like, I can definitely run, but, like, I'm assuming all the humans will just run with us. Are the humans in a similar way like us, where, like, running away from a grunt is not going to initiate, like, an opportunity attack? Uh, correct, because that is a that is the thing about the grunts, that has nothing to do with the person around them. Okay, got it. But yeah, when I, like, just to reiterate, when I, like, cut that rope... I would have been like yelling over the wall at like you and all the people and being like, run the white ravine. It's just over there. Okay. <laughs> all right. So Where are the battle guards? I'm gonna do- they're, in, they're, they're at the, they're the guards. They're in the guard stations. You can see them in front of these they're little guards. There's one right next they're to the guards. Guard. Yeah. There's one, uh, right, they're, they're guards. there's one right here and there's one right gotcha. here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. They're totally guards. <laughs> So I'm gonna um, do like a, mo- a double move act or do double moves on my turn. So I'm just gonna shift, and then I believe run is also a move action. So since I'm not too worried about, I guess anything. I guess I'll go ahead and just run. Well, this guy. Okay, so you shifted to get. Yeah, yes. got it. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh Jesus, that was cool. Okay, did you guys? Did you guys? This maps move? My map didn't move, but I, I saw a big. You see square. a square? Oh, you see a big square. Uh-huh. Your mom's a big square. Uh, You're a square. That's very rude. Oh, the square receded. There we okay. go. Once you guys get into actually. Oh, it's like XCOM yeah. once we reach the extraction zone. Yeah, that's exactly it. Once you, it's exactly it. Once you guys get into this white zone, then you are, um, then you've escaped this encounter. Oh, really? Yep. Wait, but is it like, case. is it just us, or is it like whoever isn't in the white square gets left behind? Like, do just we all have to be in the white square? Like, if the humans yes. don't get into the white square? Yep. Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, all right. Um, hey, Ko, do you want to take the high road or the low road in terms of... Uh, you know, I think that depends on which road, you, which road you would like to take. Oh, my God. I'm you so know. upset I didn't see it coming. I'm oh so upset. God. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is what I get for asking. I'll follow um, your lead. I'm, uh, I'm very, Okay. Full disclosure, I'm actually thinking about like picking up Ann Polly. Uh, okay. <laughs> and just keeping her away. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna run on instinct then, right? Okay. Well, so you probably should try uh, using your feet first. Yeah. Oh wow. my god. My thing is really slow right now. Yeah, because there's a lot of images on this map. Fancy rounds is. Two. Three. Uh, what? 
the, the hobgoblins. The hob. These are very massive hobgoblins. They are exerting a gravitational pull on you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Yes. Six. Let's go with six because we're trying to run very far. Okay. Um. And I'm going to pew 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 target these three with uh the thunder of the summer king. Uh, and I'd really like to hit. Why do you have four? yourself targeted? Do I have myself targeted? Miss me ah. Grunt one at Lavellus. You did. You hit yourself. So you should probably okay, untarget. Well, you should probably untarget yourself before you uh, roll damage. There you go. Okay. Um. But also, I'm going to use the thing that I always use. Where is it? I think Justice um, okay. would prefer to use the woad less traveled. Okay. Stop it. I, I, oh. This is not what I wanted. Yes! Um, I'm going to blast. I'm going to try to blast this guy again. 18. Great. You're probably hit. Cool. Um, and I deal uh, this much damage. And they get pushed back, but I, if they're minions, I imagine that. They are minions! Yeah. Now they're filet minions. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Cool. No! And then I am going to. Oh, jeez. I'm going to use my minor action. <laughs> and Meliora <laughs> summons. This is terrible. Sorry. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use like my minor it. action and Meliora summons to pull. She's on a half square. Um, one, two, three. I think I can only pull two people. That's not good. Durok said something last stream. He said every time all the, all the civilians are on the map, civilians die um, it's true it's a true statement um so i just pull those people to try to get them moving and okay. that is my turn Cervanazor. okay uh what did you say i was here 10 foot up yep two, it's two squares down if you uh if you just keep in mind the archers there are archers and you can see these little like um these little holes here that's that's a that's a play. That's a like, like a crenellation that the archers Manhole. can shoot through. Can I beg your pardon? Well, have you been Have you been looking? <laughs> I guess they're. I guess they're not men. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hub hole. What do you think? What do you think, Zoga? Get out of here, or take down his archers. I think it's a bit too much in it. These archers were a pain last time. Just us two. That is true. There might be a couple of. Casualties on the way, but <laughs> yeah, they're. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna be peppering these people. We need to, we need to try at least like. I think we need to try and take out at least a couple of them. Peppering these people. Okay. Can I? I can <laughs> move. Can I move people. through? Hang on a minute. Uh, can I do? Why is it? Uh, blimey, it is slow. Can I move through like that? A lot of bad guys. <laughs> So sorry, sorry, one, two. Oh my god, it's so slow. I've gone too far. Three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna do that, then I'll charge at this guy. One. Come on, two. Hello? Remember what? when we thought that the zombies was a lot of bad guys? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's on a half square. Whatever. I think that's about right. Uh let's target him. Hang on. Who, who who are you targeting? Archer five. Okay, stand by. I have to do something here. It's important. It's super important. Shut up. Stop. Wait. Stand by. Mm. Okay, now you can target him. Uh, I think I have. Is he on a yeah. half square? People pepperer five. Yes. Okay. Well, do what you're gonna do. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try this. Remember, these guys are not minions. Hit. Mm, yeah, plus, plus 11. All right, all right, all right. All right. They're archers. If anyone could take them out. <gasps> That's a lot of dice. Right? He's wounded. wounded. Yep. Mm. Why did I run? Look how low that roll is, though. It's That's pretty low. He rolled a so one, two, sad. He rolled a one, two, three. And average would have been five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and a half. Bass three. If I do a close bass three with my dragon's breath, would I hit the archer behind him as well? Um, I would, wouldn't I? One, I two, so. three. No. Ah. Uh, no. 
You it may you may have looked that way because uh, some of these guys so, uh, some of these guys were on half squares on purpose because that made that that meant they lined up with the gap. But right. um, I, I, see, I, I see. Uh, but I fixed that once it became important. Sorry. So, okay. No, this is one, okay. and then two is two threes, the two squares behind them. Damn, that was a roll, low roll, wasn't it? It was. Damage. It was. Shh. Yeah. Yep. They can't all be winners. I'm going to set this guy on fire as well. I'm going to try and drag and breath him while I'm right there in front of him. Put the oh! Yeah. oh! I was nice. so afraid! Max da- that's just, it's max damage. Just max damage, right? Yep. Yeah. That's what critical hits are in 5th edition, or 4th edition. So, so you rolled a 7, but it's like, no, you get max damage, though. So you just bloodied that guy. Oh, he's bloodied. Wait, yep. so that means I get my Thaneborn <gasps> Triumph, right. which Thane-born means, triumph. Uh, in addition, whenever you bloody an enemy, next attack, your ally mics against, you get a bonus. Okay, so I put that on uh, I just realized how... enemy. I put it on him. Yep. Okay, cool. So I'm going to drag it on him. Should have applied. It did, yep. Cool. That would be the end of my turn. Co. Uh, <clears throat> it's very okay. convenient, especially I'm glad I'm doing this because I switched it back to now it recenters my map on whoever's going next, which is very convenient for me as a dungeon master and probably also for people watching. Go ahead. So, um, so Ko, uh, you know, in like a cinematic moment would look up at Zoga like, Zoga, you're our leader. You know where we should go. Like m- my tactician on the wall. Uh, what? What, what 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 do you think I should do in this moment? Um, I mean, Zoga will you can kind of a, see you, can make, you, you like a, looking up. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say I, I wasn't gonna make a recommendation. I was just gonna say you have you have a tactic skill, but you could just I do. No, he does. Oh, I was like. I'm not familiar with that one. No, but it's, it's something only Zoga has because uh, he had a quest, he had a sub quest, and he fulfilled it. Killed a blood drinker. Yep. Um. But yeah, continue. Sorry. Like it, it, all you know, Zoga sees Ko glancing up at him, and he just sort of like just kind of points with his with his look right at uh, um the uh, the the two guards. And this grunt that's like right there next to the grandma. So yeah. basically, I'm just kind of like looking at this guy and this guy and this guy. I don't know if that shows up at all. It didn't show up. Uh, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Click Yeah, if you just mouse, if you just you don't have to click on him, just mouse over him. But he unselected him. It looks like. Do it again, Tom. There we go. This guy. So now, if you mouse over Zoga, you can see that he's pointing at. Oh, oh okay, yeah, this yeah, guy, yeah. This guy, okay, this so, guy. Okay, this guy is in this. That's really okay. cool. It is I cool. Like it is cool. I love that. Yeah, I see this as like an exchange of glances, and like you're yeah. fighting, and then you like absolutely maybe tilt your head and. Actually, it's, to me, this is very realistic because you folks would obviously have, uh, you know, a lot of nonverbal communication cues that you had developed over the past, you know, however fucking long you've been in this stupid forest. Wait, so what did what are the nonverbal cues that Zoga made to Ko just now about the three named guys? I mean, Ko Ko indi- Ko is like, what should I do? And Zoga is like, these guys. But now Wait, Zoga has- so you're saying fight them? I thought the whole point was to run away. That's why I ran, otherwise I would have stayed and fought. <laughs> like, the named ones. I think, I think I'm mostly, like, clearing the way so that it's safer for the others to run. Yeah, someone needs to be kind of a rear guard. Blimey. <laughs> Manhole. <laughs> Elves with the humans. <laughs> but yeah, like, there's, I mean, there's a, there's a grunt up there at the top, like, you know, if everybody runs by that guy, he's gonna be able to you know. sure a child could just punch him. You got like one HP, right? <laughs> yep. I mean, it's it's time for Ann Polly to earn her keep, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <Got that> <laughs> throw, throw Ann Polly at. No. I would, How much I would damage call. does uh, Ann Polly do when you throw her? Improvised missile weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on if she has the club. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I couldn't even list the, the all the things that I had killed when I was her age. <laughs> That's probably the, true. The load, yeah. you know. Uh, so I think then I'm going to um, take my movement. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Uh, 
I'm like trying to get as close to them as I can. I say hi, Solvi. Uh, and then. Hello, big man. Well, uh, and now I'm thinking. So, so uh, if this is too metagaming, let me know. I remember if these hobgoblins were relatively dexterous. Um, I'm trying to decide between an attack that targets their reflex. They are they are certainly more nimble than they are healthy or wise. Okay, that tells me that tells me what I need to know. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, well, then I am going to. I don't consider that particularly uh, metagamey. Like, okay, you know. I'm gonna do my I, since since this grunt does not look generally as tough as the others. I'm going to do my Seymour's wings here. So I target him and not the grandma. So if I hit... Uh-oh. Oof, nope. Yep. That's a miss. You know what? You're still a little disoriented from the translation. Okay, I can get three of them with my stinging manticore if Ooh. I count the one I'm next to. That's cool. Let's do that. I'm going to use sting my him, action. Sting him, baby. Give him that, give him that manticore. That's and hang on. Why can't it be a wool manticore? You're close enough. You get the old... <laughs> The old bloop. bloop. Don't, don't you, should, laugh at them. you shouldn't laugh. Yeah, you shouldn't laugh at my jokes. In the old uh, ba bloop, I like laughing at them. Okay. The old uh, ba bloop. The one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, wait, wait. This uh, guy, this guy, here. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. This guy, you cannot. Oh shit! I'm having the same experience where it's really fucking slow. That guy, you cannot walk past without impunity. He's not a grunt. I am shifting. He's never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore that. Because he's so. a monk. Yeah. Um, and I'm oh, going to uh, try to fuck them up. Good. Oh, this is that cool. This is that thing. What? Unfortunately, that cool thing. that's one miss. one miss. One miss and two hits. Do I still miss that same grunt? Um, I don't know. Yes. Wow, what? I hate that grunt. That grunt is determined to kill that old woman. He's yep. being promoted now. Yeah, he's gonna become a he's gonna become a guard in a second. Okay, grunt number thirty, dead. <laughs> only only twenty nine more to go. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna and then I'm a stone endurance. And I think I think that's a good I think that's a good turn. Uh, I I would yell yes. at Anne like I would yell at Anne something like remember what I taught you, uh, <laughs> and then. <sighs> would end my turn. Rob. Can I ask, um, since putting the humans on the battle tracker would be hell, at what time did they move? <laughs> it's a good question, and I don't know the answer off the top of my head. I need to think about it. I need to think about the, the tactical implications of when the humans go. Um, I mean, I think it makes sense for them to go after all of that, with you guys. Right, um, so they don't get their own initiative; they act whenever the last PC acts, which is right now Co. Okay. So that means these guys are just going to fucking they're just going to run for it, and their normal normal human movement is I think five, six. What's normal human movement? Sprinting, Johnny. I, I Johnny. think that's all of them. Alan Dash. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what happens if I go one dash one. <laughs> Uh, one. Oh, hell yeah. One. <laughs> one. 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 <laughs> Two. Did I hit? Is it, I, I can't remember now which which is lo- num lock. Is num, oh, is num, okay. <sighs> did they move? Yeah. They moved. <laughs> they moved. <laughs> Not on my screen, they didn't. They, well, moved, one of them lock. just got past me, so. <laughs> I think we're at two squares. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, I just, they moved one. Oh, it. Oh, it's happening. Two. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and get closer to the center of the pack. <laughs> Can I, okay, hang on a second. What if I just do <laughs> this? Nope. There we go. That's fine. Uh, how many squares is that? Now they're going. How many squares oh, is Lord, that? Oh, Lord, they're moving. How many squares is that? How many squares <laughs> is that? They're, they're out of here, dude. Uh, they use their sea uh, wings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen squares. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, they can only they can they can move um, five plus five. So six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's gonna have to be good enough for now. Actually, I'll move them one more. 
Yeah. No. Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay. They all wanted to be on half squares for a minute. Yep, 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 yep. So that's not bad for them. So that yeah. it's good because that means it's much less likely that these guys are going to kill civilians. They're just going to start killing Excellent you guys. Excellent herd mentality. Yep. That means those archers are probably out of uh, range, right? Probably so. Not out of range of you assholes. No, not me, but he can't arch me. I'm right next to him. Um, <laughs> That's true. Oh. Ah, oh, shit, but I'm right next to him. Oh, if code dies again, that'd be awesome. Almost oh, it wouldn't. Why would that wow. be awesome? But I'm so wow. glad that I he's... did that. That ruby thing at the end of my turn. Uh... No. Just picture these arrows like hitting and like little cracks appearing and pieces falling off. Let's see what's the range on this longbow. 20. Great. 20 is close range. So Lovellus is well within range. And she's very squishy. Oh, but not squishy enough. Uh, mm-hmm. right. Archer 6. I am the archer's bane. Archer 6 is It'll going to go. Um, I am very one, small. 2. There's an archer there. Bugger it. He's gonna go. Er, he's gonna target Which one Zog. Is he's and hiding around the corner of it. Hit, he hits Zog. Ugh. <laughs> Arrows are you're being pep you're being peppered by peppered by peeper peppers. Pepper pepper. Um let's see. Co or Lavellus? Lavellus. <laughs> oh, go for me. No, he sees yeah, that his these guys are well, I mean it it's it, no, they're going to go after Lavelle's because he sees his buddy missed, and he wants to he wants to correct that. I think we get out of here. So the next time, just let. Oh, that was a one, but it didn't matter. Even a seven was a miss. It's because I've got my extra eyes on at the moment. This guy shifts, so he does not provoke, and then he shoots his bow at the dragon knight, and he rolls. Oh. A, he rolls a. Cool, but he, he shoots his bow by... We're getting uh, very lucky. Five foot. <laughs> Flail! Uh-oh. Miss, miss, miss. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed. Oh my gosh. Um, so what's this here? One, two, three. Yeah, he's got... Nerd. One kind of flail. Nerd. Hey, little... Hey, little... Gnome asshole. No, don't. Oh, he missed. That's, that's oh interesting. Oh, my God. This is great. That's interesting. Um, was it, by the way, was it obvious when you met him that Solvi was a gnome? Uh, no. He, he reminded I, I, me of, I like, the know. one... Who's the dude in the chain? Uh, with the little... What's it called? Oh, a Strider. smith Liblin or something like that? No, Zverf Niblin, yeah. Zverf Niblin are gnomes. They're just dark gnomes. Yep. That's kind of what I yeah. thought he was. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. At first, I think when you first in, like described him, I was a little bit like, um, is this a, a dwarfy thing or a gnomey thing? But then like, once we actually got a description and a picture, I was like, that's a gnome. It's a d- or dwarfy gnomey thing. Is Solvi yeah. like <laughs> the only gnome right now on Orden? Um, Ish. Ish. Uh, he's probably... No, he's probably not. He's not the only norm. No, no, because I mean, the the chain of Akron has been to many planes, and there's a fucking there's a a deep uh, there's a, there's a, a deep gnome in the chain, right? So I would say in all of Orden, there's probably like thirty or forty gnomes. That's cool. But I'm I happy would, to have another bald or balding character in the party. Just saying. I think it's likely that each of them thinks they're the only ones on this entire plane. <laughs> Uh, Solvi knows. Solvi knows. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers don't know everything. Uh, I decided when I realized it was a gnome, though, because I was there during the Calabras streams when gnome was a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because I just think, like, um, I, as the designer in me thinks that you don't need that many tiny little races, right? And that between halflings, dwarves, and gnomes, that's one too many. Pick pick two. Um <laughs> And so I'm like, we don't need gnomes, but people like gnomes, so they're in, they're in, they're in there somewhere. Uh, what's this guy gonna do? Where? What? 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 Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot. Yep. Um. What is this guy gonna do? How is he gonna get down there? I guess he's gonna go. Uh. One. What's what's your movement, Grunt? I assume it's like okay, so it's six. Hey. All right, so it's one, two, and then three, four. 
five, six. It's difficult terrain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's able to get there by scrambling down the um, this escarpment. And this guy is going to do the same thing, and I don't have to count it because they were right next to each other. So that's where he ends up. And this oh, yeah. asshole is going to go... Uh, what's his range to Orin? Nine? Ten? Okay. So that means... Oh, come on. There we go. That means he can get here, but you won't have any... No, he can't. What the hell? That's so far. Ten? Yeah, he's got six movements, so he can move... You can go move, move, and that's twelve. He has two movement left over, but he can't attack. So... Oh, oh, oh I see, I see. He didn't run, though. No, he, didn't, he just he just took a normal movement, and then he, he, he cashed in his standard action for another movement. So this grunt is standing next to who he needs to stand next to. He is going to go after this uh, young child. Uh, I don't remember who, which person this is because fantasy grunts is stupid and doesn't show me. So, uh, and I can't. I also can't target them, but I can roll. A, I can make an attack roll, and that's definitely going to hit. And uh, so now this character. Um, yeah, even if I target him, it doesn't show me. No, because oh, they're not. They're not in the. They're not in the combat tracker. Because uh, that would. Because I mean, holy shit! There we go. You are Eleanor. <laughs> you are. Um, you are. You're actually. You're Anne Polly's older sister. Huh. So. Is it sister. Yep. What goes in here? It's never uh, in here. Um, they can take. They can take uh, somewhere between two and three hits from a uh, grunt before, uh, before they die, and that was one. So, oh Christ, I wish I wish there was an easier way to do this, but hopefully this won't last much longer. And that's that dude. Grunt number fifteen. Uh, oops, grunt number fifteen attacks or targets Zoga and stabs Zoga with his long sword. Yeah. Of course, he only does five damage. They don't roll. They don't roll dice. They just automatically do five damage. Zoga is now bloody. Ouch. I'm fine. I can't believe I burped again. Uh, grunt number <laughs> grunt number sixteen is just gonna go. Um, I've been stabbed before. This is fine. Oh. Hi. <laughs> that guy's done. Grunt number 17 is going to go one, two, three, um, four, five, six, and then he's going to charge Zoga. Oh my gosh, you all have got to get out of there. He hits, yeah. Zoga takes another five damage. He's got a long charge. Yeah, he, he, he moved. No, he's got a regular everyday charge. He does the same thing you guys can do. He moved, he used his movement, which is six squares, and then he used his the standard action to charge. That's another six squares. All right, it's only, it's plenty, it looks plenty, plenty range. Uh, Hang on, how long can you charge? A charge is a movement with an attack at the end. So it's your speed? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can charge seven squares? Is your speed seven? My speed is five, but I have a, a yeah, charge that gives me a thing. plus two to speed when yep. charging. Yep. Holy shit, a bully! So you can you can move five, and then charge five plus two. Dude, I thought you could charge. Uh, <sighs> we should go back and start this game over. Let's go back to the yeah. let's go back to the bar. Let's go back, let's go yeah. back to the bar. Let's start the campaign, the campaign over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still yes. gonna try to storm the tower. By the way. <laughs> no, do we want it this time? Turn around. Uh, yeah, I probably will. I can't wait till the next time I run this campaign for people and see like how how much smoother it goes now that I know what I'm. How... This campaign rules, dude. Yeah. This is a really yeah, good little yeah. adventure, man. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm like this has just been awesome. Uh, yeah, you're not allowed to finish. It's just been so good. It's just I'm so hyped every step of the way. I really appreciate that. This is some of the most fun I've had running in a long time, and I almost never know what's going to happen from one week to the next. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool, awesome, holy shit, what the fuck? Uh, and then can we, what's, what's, um, I actually do think that, um, much as I hate to admit it, I think Anna's right, 
I, hopefully the combat tracker is going to be a little less fucky now. Uh, also, okay. you notice you notice that there is um, a a um, blood skull guard a blood skull commander in this barracks and and a whole bunch of like actual real soldiers behind him pointing at the and he's just off the map he's just below the bottom of the map and he's pointing at the map and shouting and so there's an entire small there's a small army gathering getting ready to chase you all down you mean to the north i'm saying yeah exactly down here down down that yeah, way down that way gotcha. he's just off the Come map on. right now all right zogs all right zog yeah, here, mate all right, here's what I'm... I have removed I, the goblins that are not going to be relevant to this, to this here's encounter. Here's what we're doing. Legging it. Since these are grunts... Legging it. I want to... I want to just, like, blow them each a little kiss. Oh, I see. And then backflip <laughs> over the wall and land here. That's fine. That's nice. Well, I'm saying goodbye. That's cool. I, I like the idea... I, flips for. I like the idea that you sort of, like you roll off the the rock right because mm-hmm. it's and, and then just like flip off it um yeah. but go ahead and make either an acrobatics check or an athletics check whichever you think is uh whichever's whichever one you are have a higher score in it's this one but that bland. dice went everywhere <laughs> yeah right went on a journey um okay now i need okay now I need you to do me a favor. Now you need to make so you successfully perform the maneuver you're trying to manu- you're trying to perform. Now the question is, can you land on your feet? And that is an acrobatics check. The DC is not very high. Uh, yep, um, five is enough. Sweet. Mm-hmm. All so right. You land how on much, your feet. How much movement did that take? I mean, uh, it looks like it took uh, two squares. Okay. Sweet. So then. I am. I'm just charging this guy. Bloop. I charge at him. Don't forget you have plus two because you're flanking. I go, Here I come, Solvi. Oh, he has. I just fl- flung that dice <laughs> across the room. I didn't oh my god! See I didn't even see. It's not, it's not staying in the dice box. <laughs> oh <Nah>. my god! <laughs> the dice are frisky tonight. They <laughs> <laughs> are frisky. <laughs> There we go. Bam. A palpable hit. Right. A ba bam. Ba ba bam. Uh. And then I'm also just gonna. I mean, remember this guy is not a. Um, he, he he threatens. <laughs> Furious assault. Are there now few enough of these that they will all fit on the battle mat? On the nope. Now you guys got to kill one more grunt, and then they'll all fit on the combat tracker for me. Uh, I'm also gonna give myself a little inspiring word because, like, the roll off of the. That's pretty inspiring. Off of the tower, like the little back with a blown a kiss, back flipping off the tower, pretty cool. So I'm it just is like, pretty cool. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna give you an action point. Oh, yes. Nice. yes. Yes. I'm gonna give you an action point for doing something cool. Hmm. All right, that's my turn. Uh, Solvi the bald. Yeah, it gave Solvi, and he's got advantage, right? Yep, I gave him. I'm giving him plus two. Yeah. Um. So he's probably just going to wrap him over the head with his um, yes. his stick, which is actually good at that. like the most effective thing he knows how to do, frankly. Like, for instance. Dude, the weapon stick is no joke. I'm going to need to get me one of these sticks. Oh, wait, he doesn't have anybody targeted. Uh, stand uh, by, uh, stand by, but no problem. I can just <laughs> drag this onto witness the power of fantasy grounds, people in chat. Er, there we go. Yep. Behold. He's bloody. Oh. Yep. Uh, nice. And then it's Orin's turn. So was the gold knight's name, like, is Aaron's name intentionally tied to gold? Like, Aram? Like, A-U, the sign for gold? Oh, that's clever, but no. I thought that was a cool line, because Aram is, like, I mean, the yes, Latin word definitely. for gold, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, that always the plan. You caught, finally somebody realized <laughs> my, <laughs> my genius. <laughs> mm. No one's ever... <laughs> No, I was it before. About, until now. I was thinking about that earlier today when I was counting Takes my one gold. One. I was counting my gold. Um, well, okay. <laughs> Justice sound of pot of gold. Yes, yeah, Silas Monter over here. No, Orin's from board. um from um Never Ending Story. It's the name of the amulet. Oh, the all powerful oh, amulet. It is! Oh normally it's spelled in all capital letters and it is like a proper, proper noun. 
I have not ever seen. I mean, movie. you should insist the on that. Book is right, incredible for your character as well. Uh, so I'm gonna hit this crime. <laughs> Healing surged myself. <laughs> Boom! Oh, a very palpable hit. Pretty sure that dude's just dead. Dude. Yep. Roll. <laughs> you all are bad. You don't need to, actually. You don't need to roll. The however, the other day I said palpable hit, and my family looked at me. and They were like, "Was that Hamlet?" Yep. <laughs> it is. Oh, yes. Hamlet, Hamlet, it Hamlet, is. Hamlet, 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 Hamlet. Anyway, sorry. Where were we? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> were we playing? Yeah, I, was just, I was waiting to see if I could. Uh, well, I was. Oh yeah, get out of here, run. Well, I am. I'm all the way up here now. You guys are the slow pokes. We'll be fine. Don't worry about us. It's Lavalis's turn. It is my turn. I'm going to uh one, two. Oh, that's faster now. Look at that. Yeah. Three. Oh. It's going to get a lot faster once all these heroes Five, are dead. Six, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll just, hey. you know, do a cheeky little, do a cheeky little um, song of Briaris over here. Um, you know, call on the plants for aid. Miss. Do a great Missing job, a hit. But, you know, it's just grass. It's just grass. That's it's true. doing its you best. Can't exactly. It's doing its best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so at least that guy's dead. <laughs> Lavellus. Like the, the blades of grass. Like. <laughs> Lavellus, do me a favor, make an insight check. Right. Roll, roll in the tower, please. Actually, you don't have to roll in the tower. So it's up okay, to you. Okay, but now I'm, now I'm scared. Either you know stuff or you don't. Wow, you rolled really, really shitty, but you have a really high bonus. Um, I have a really high bonus. There's a lot of that going around in this. Um, you notice a very like, uh, you know what you just said about the grass. Mm-hmm. It's literally true. The grass here is this weird, like, orange color, which is very unnatural. And when you, when um, there's something intuitively, when you see how sickly the grass is, you look up in the sky, and there is this haze in the sky that is orange. It's a thick orange layer of something in the air between you and the sun that you've never you have gross. never seen before gross don't like that gross okay all right noted i don't like that okay yikes that's no blame smog we're in california now right. smog is way too big a dragon for you guys to be fighting at this <laughs> that this gentleman smog. is dead that's that's a dumb. No one pronounces it like that. It's pronounced smog. 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 Like no one pronounces it Sauron. No one pronounces it Sauron. It's Sauron. Sauron. Sauron is stupid. Yeah, Have no you... one. <laughs> no one does that. No one. After seeing uh, <laughs> Zoga's uh, fantastic exit, I'm going to be not quite as fantastic. But just before I jump off this uh, wall, I'm going to fling a javelin at this arsehole that stood next to me. Uh, and yeah, I hit him. him. And let's do some damage too. Damage. And you're dead. Hey, yeah, you killed, you killed him. That's, that's, and shot. that guy is not a grunt. Yeah, you headshot that motherfucker. And oh, yeah. wait a minute. I killed him, so that means I get a thingy, don't I? Uh, I reduce. Once again, I think it'd be pretty cool to watch a dragon knight stay behind and hold off this entire army. Wait, Sorry, never get mind. out of Sorry. town. Yeah, never Plus mind. two damage until the end of your turn. Okay, I could have put that one. One of these days, someone's going to GM a game set in my setting, and I'm going to play. And I'm going to play a Dragon Knight. There you go. I'll put my Rising Fury after that. So, Ooh. I will leap off this tower. Oh, so you uh, say. All right, that's a that's an athletics check. For me? So, yeah, athletics. first thing I need, you need an athletics check to leap no, over... He's gonna nail it. You need His a, athletics is like a ten natural whatever. You need a, you know. need a, you need athletics to leap over the barricades, and then you need okay. acrobatics to land on your feet and not take damage. Okay, so here's my athletics first, then, yep. yeah. Mm-hmm. No That's problem. No problem. Yep. That's no. it's so much. It's so uh, many. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Acrobatic, acrobatics. acrobatics, because otherwise you're gonna dro- drop prone and take uh, some take some damage. Ooh, wow. Ooh, nice. That 15 yep. just wow. came in yeah, You don't have a great bonus there, but you rolled really well. So, yep, you're fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's movement. So my movement can still go, right? Yep, yep, yep. So I will move to them. And then... Uh, well, let's just charge this fucker that you've got there. And I'll, we'll take him out as well. All right. One, two, boom, boom, boom. 
Oops, I'll charge right into him. <laughs> Target him and then why have I got all my mobs <coughs> mixed up? There we go. Uh come on. Ooh, I don't get a bone no. He's being you get a flagged. Plus one to hit. So Oh, oh, yes. Well let's roll, see what happens. That should hit him anyway. Yep. Uh, yeah. And then a bit Easy. of da- damage. Wow, damn. Uh, Just a bit. See yep. you later, mate. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh. dude. So first of all, what, Grunt number 12 died a while ago, apparently. And I never killed him. Here's a battle guard number oh, two. Oh, wait, I killed him. Uh, but I've already got my rising fury on. <laughs> that's, why you're, that's why you're so oh, yeah, lightheaded. All your blood it. has gone into your rising flurry. <laughs> yeah, and um, then I'm faked. Yeah. Uh, so that would be the end of my turn. Take that. Two dead. Sweet. Awesome. Oh. Once again, the Dragon Knights. The Dragon Knights prove their mettle. Gotta love those Dragon Knights. Um, well... Sorry, Co. Maybe I should have come over to you. I just realized where you are. You know, I'm hoping that I roll high and I smack this Hobgoblin in the mouth. Um, so... I'm going to open the gates of battle. I know he's already been hit, but the gates are like legitimately open, uh, like right over there. But I'm still going to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it was almost a one. That's where I wanted Ooh. a seven. Oh, okay. yeah, it's okay, still okay, 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 okay. Okay, I have to make the lower of these because he's been hurt <laughs> by me. <laughs> by me. Yeah. Oh, did that hurt? Well, I guess I'm just going to hit you with this. Did that hurt? Because I also have my supreme flurry, which means I can flurry again and then shift. I, I can shift half my speed and use my flurry of blows, but I don't even want to shift. I'm just going to hit him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please don't get your right. Gaze into the fist of Ko. Three oh, dead in a couple of turns. Yeah, and, and 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 one of them was an archer, and the two battle guards are dead. Yeah, it's just like that elevator scene in Drive, except the elevator is that wall behind me, and then I'm going to move. Whoa, um, dead. You know, I'm going to jump, because I feel like I can jump farther than I can move. I'm feeling lucky. I like that. You just kill this guy, and just do a massive jump to celebrate. Yeah. But no. You guys have actually done a pretty spectacular job of clearing all these guys out. Hey, Zoga, should we go and take the army out? <laughs> One last ride. Yeah, right. Oh, look at him go. Ooh, that is pretty a good. Lot. Yeah, I'm still going to try for that nat 20, so let's, I get to do this twice. Okay. Because Barrel Man. Go on, I don't I don't yeah. I don't mean to tell you what to do, but I'd choose the nineteen. Oh thank you. <laughs> I should go this way, right? This is the right way I should go like I Yeah. Yes. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. Okay, I have leapt here. I've done my things. Uh I'm feeling pretty cute. Pretty good. Okay. Uh that's my turn. I like that. It was fun. Archer number dos is um Ko is still in range, so he's gonna fire. That's probably a miss. Yep. Yeah. Right. Archer number three. Ko is still in range. I thought it was a Ko. I mean fuck. Oh my gosh, no way. Uh, really well, so I think my last feat I took an AC bump. Oh hell and yeah. Seemed to have been just enough. Lavellus is still in range. So these archers are all <laughs> loosing their bows. And you see these red oh, these red arrows go arcing up into the sky and one of them slams into Lavellus. Um, this Anyone monkey else fucker... really pleased that we grounded? <laughs> oh, well, we should kill a couple more. Hits Zoga. From dogs peeing on the ground. Oh, Oof. that's hurt. <laughs> I mean, these are these arrows. These are heavy arrows. These guys are these guys are half demon goblins. They are um, their reputation is that they are better and stronger than either humans or goblins. That guy's done. People pepper number two. Who are you shooting at? You also have Lavellus targeted. That is definitely a hit. Boom. Lavellus is bloodied. Okay. 
I'm fine. I'm fine. This guy is gonna go. I might not be one, fine. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and then he charges Lavellus. <sighs> Uh, which gives him plus one, plus one on charge. And he targets you, and he swords you. Oh, suck my monkey. I'd rather not. A two Survive. does not, a two does not hit. Uh, this dude. Survive. <laughs> survive. Um, targets Oren. Actually, yeah, he targets Oren. Oh, that's a, that's a three. Er, the miss, miss in it. Uh, this guy's gonna this guy's gonna stay here and try to put the fucking rope back together. Back together. He doesn't. He doesn't. He, <laughs> he doesn't really have the. Have a mending spell. No. He, no. They, he doesn't have the. He doesn't really have the facility to do that. But these guys He's are these guys are well trained and they're gonna try. Um, and this guy's gonna run his ass up here, but he doesn't have enough movement to do anything. These three guys together will probably be able to repair the rope. Um, it's just gonna take him a while, and that's it. That's the end of... Oh, I'm sorry. The humans. The humans go when Ko goes, basically. All right, let's try this again. Um, all y'all. All y'all. All y'all. Er, and then... Uh, no, from my mother pus bucket. Uh, all y'all. Actually, er, there we go. And then... You. There we go. And you all have, um, you can run, which is, um, plus two movement on a run. Yeah. Right? And, but you get, you have really shitty, um, run. Yeah. Speed plus two. So they're going to run twice and their normal speed is six, which means eight doubled is 16. Um, and I believe... Oh, oh no. Okay, so that is enough to get them. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Here. So they are not out of the, they're not all out of the, um. Quite a few, though. Yeah, there's only like four, four, yeah, there's, they're, they're one round away from being free. Cool. Zoga, it's you. All right, um. Yeah, his oaks. I'm just gonna run for it. One, two, three, four, five. Charge this grunt that is uh, pestering Lavellus. Actually, yeah, why not? I can get I can get here, right, and have flanking. Get that flank. Uh, lap. Yeah. Here we go. Automatic oh, miss. Ah, I mean, wow, that was a cock die anyway. Ah. That was a 13 to me. <laughs> Sorry. But, now nah, I'll save that action point. It's just a grunt. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll give Le- Lavellus an inspiring word. <gasps> Thank hey. you so much. I'm the dude playing so a dude much. disguised as another dude. That literally yeah. undid the whole last attack that I suffered. Nice. There you go. It was very inspiring. Yeah. It was. I'm very inspired. I, like you know what I said? I said power. like the only cool elven word that I know. Like a, <laughs> this is like a, probably a cool elven swear word that I learned at some point. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just like nice. <laughs> like how cool is it to hear Zoga say anything in elvish? Oh, it's yeah, Solvi right the ball. Now. Um. Run, run. Solvi knows. Time to go. <laughs> Solvi runs. Run, run. Solvi knows. <laughs> the flowers, they don't know everything. Yes. Yeah, oh, right. hey. Oh, this guy, this guy uh, is like, oh, shit, that's right. There's stuff going on. He was he was about to just, like, run past this dude. And he was like, oh, wait. Um, Wap. Is that a hit? Nope, it's a miss. He's done. Solvi, come on. Come on, Solvi. Oh, Get it together. Yeah. Solvi, Solvi shrugs and says, sometimes magic works, sometimes it doesn't. That's a stick. It's a stick. Shillelagh, bro. Sticks can be magic, he says, looking at the Uh-huh. Lines. Uh-huh. Does it look like a magic stick? No. <laughs> Trees are magic. <laughs> I mean, that's a long it's way to run. It's not wrong. <laughs> it is for me. Why are we so far 
back here. Did I remember the magic stick from the Valengard days? Yeah, did uh, Daggers had one, right? Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, I would love to play those characters again. I'm pretty sure you can get Phil to run Valengard again. Phil yeah. and I actually had a we had lunch, and he talked about what it would take to turn Valengard into a real product. Oh wow! And um, I said it, I, I didn't think it would be difficult, but um, I said the thing you'd have to do to do it for real though is you'd have to design new rules for Fifth Edition for running a basically no magic campaign. And he was like, oh, and I'm like, to me, that would be the fun. That would be the fun of that project, right? But that would also be the thing that defines it and makes it a real product that attracts people. Is that like in Phil's world, like there's no fucking healing spells. Like we, we were lucky that we found a fucking pipe that you could smoke <laughs> and that would, that would heal you. And we're like, holy shit, give me that fucking pipe. Yeah, that was fun. We that was go. fucking fun campaign. That was a fun game. All right. Lodiel. I did two move actions, both of them running. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. We might as well, because that's quite a lot. That's about as far as I can travel. So you are in for it, Mr. Grunt. Face. Grunt number 14. I, I think, I hope. Yep. Toodles. Mm, Is it gonna? Okay, I'll just no. keep, if you're not going to delay with your mouth, just delete him. Excuse me. I rolled the damage. Did Maybe you? it rolled outside. It must have. Oops. Oh. It's dead, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's it. That'll be it for me. I, uh, yeah. I did a ra- move, a charge, I hit. Next. This has been a really cool tactical retreat. Like, it's working pretty well. Yeah. Only one of the humans mm-hmm. got wounded. All right. Yeah, yeah. What up, Zoga? One, two, three, four, five. Did I just go six, or can you move me back to where I was? I think I moved four. Where, I, I can, but where were you? I think you've moved four, too. I'm pretty sure you moved. Four. Okay, so then I can go here. I was trying to see if I could flank. Um, if I move more than that, then, and you're watching in the chat, don't don't you wrap me out. Snitches get stitches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so now that I'm blanking, I'm going to smack the shit out of this guy. Uh, with my with my my with my meal club, um, what which attack do I want to do? I've opened the gates of battle. Battle, move that one close. I think it's time to do old reliable my Seamorks wings attack technique, the one that knocks people back ten feet. But I never want to do that because I want to punch them in the face. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> Did what you see how that die kind of like skidded across the? That was 20. very upsetting. Wow, yeah. This one grunt. You know, this one grunt's going to level that, up. I'm going to level I'm up. I'm in that up. denial period where, like, I look at my character sheet and I'm like, hmm. You're like, why? Hmm, why? There's some way to salvage this. Yeah, there's, yeah. Just, that was third edition, by the way. Third here. edition was the most annoying edition of D&D ever because um, every time you missed, no, you didn't. Hmm. <laughs> You're like, okay, I well, know. I got a, I got a 14 and I would, I'm the dungeon master. I'd be like, you missed. And you'd be like, wait, 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 no, hang on. No, I got plus two from the bard. And I'm like, okay, well, then you hit, right? And there was almost always some way for you to find a bonus. And it was like, Jesus Christ, it never ends. Um, a, a player that would do that constantly, just always flipping in his character sheet that I bought one of those little timers that you get in like board games. Yep, yeah, yeah, I got those. When yeah. you start to turn, I would just turn it upside down. I'd be like. I actually got those <laughs> for um, the game I ran at Turtle Rock that Anna was a player in, but I never had to use them. Just having the timers, just like little egg timers on the, on the table, it just people were like it was kind of like the timer in in code names right it was the yeah. threat it was the threat of it people were like no you know what take your turn before matt flips the fucking timer on um yeah so this guy still has um co-targeted and you guys are not you guys are not safe yet this is what archer is for this is why archer technology is yeah. co is bloodied this guy, um, he's gonna, he's he's gonna target. Actually, he's gonna switch targets. He's gonna target. Um, he's gonna target Zoga just because he's closer. Oh, I feel bad about this. Okay. Who are you? What's your story? 
oh, you know, uh, Lavellus is 30 away. 30 would mean it would be long range and there'd be a penalty. So he's going to target the Dragon Wanker. <gasps> that was almost a 1, and then it turned into a 19. No, 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 19. <sighs> uh. No one die back there, you hear? Quite a bit of damage. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna re- refocus on a closer target. That was cool. My, my die just did a little fucking jig. Back on me. Oh yes. Uh, All right. And people pepperer. This guy actually probably will keep on because he's high up in that tower. Um, unfortunately, that's I believe long range, so you're minus two. But he's gonna hit Lavellus anyway because he's super awesome, and I believe in him. Yep, I was correct. Uh, my go- my goblins never let me down. Bloodied. And then grunt number asshole is going to untarget Lavellus. And who is the more wounded between Ko and Zoga? It looks like Ko. Nope, it's Zoga. He's going to target Zoga. What a this grunts are right. Pain in a bum. He misses. Thank goodness. George, I mean, you're not fighting fucking kobolds. These are. Uh, and then this guy, this guy, this guy, we should have killed him by now. I can't wait to punch him in the mouth. Oh, and don't for, oh, I, the humans all get off the off the screen. You um, need to be away from them. And you guys will too, but maybe not before somebody is uh, has a bad day because of the archers. Zoga. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look the absolute like slipperiest grunt that I've ever seen. I'm just going to look this kid in the eye and I'm just going to say, I'll be back here to kill you tomorrow. And then I'm going to use second wind. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm just going to fucking book it, man. Okay. What does is, what is run do? It gives you um, plus two movement, but it makes all your defenses, makes you real easy to hit. But it gives you plus, it increases your speed by two. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, dude. That's a that's a fantastic follow up. Um, I'm probably not gonna run that. I'm just gonna do my normal movement. One, two, three, four, five. Can you not still charge as well? But to what end? A charge is an well, attack. Oh, you have to have an yeah, attack at the end of it. A- well, a charge is an attack that, do- and you don't get extra movement. So a, a run is more movement. But you can do a move Except and then Zoga a charge, gets a plus right? two on charging. Yeah, but why would you why would you do that when you could do a, a run and a run and go a lot farther? Gotcha. If you're if you're not trying to kill if you're not trying to attack somebody, gotcha. just why not just run run and you, you run, literally run. move four squares farther. Got it. Um Solvi knows. Solvi knows. He's gonna fuck this dude up if he hits him. I hope Solvi kills him. He did him. not oh my nope. God. nope, he did not. Sorry. Solvi just run. Solvi's Solvi. gonna die today. Solvi! Oh, Solvi? So, so, Solvi's like, oh, sorry. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> He's like, N- one, two. Solvi, wait, three, where are you going? Four, five, six. Your people you are like, people need to stick together. He like, he like, <laughs> when everyone's like, well, you guys are like, Solvi, what are you doing? He's like, oh, sorry. Um, Just got to get Solvi. He, uh, don't worry about Solvi. Don't forget, he Literally has. Literally um, twice as many hit points as the rest of us. Yeah, Solvi's got 70 hit points, by the way. Oh wow! Solvi is a right. Solvi is a much higher level character than you guys. <laughs> so was the gold yeah. knight. So was the gold knight, by the way. Um, I'm just like now looking at the party sheet. I'm like, what has happened to everybody? Um, <laughs> I'm okay. We've been peppered. I'm okay. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, yeah, you guys look like a Christmas tree. Orange juice glasses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> let me show. Let me show oh, everybody. Yeah, what, yeah, I'm bloody oops. Yeah, yeah, full orange juice <laughs> oops. glasses. <laughs> yeah. We're a bit hurt, but we're fine. Uh, but I feel invincible. I don't feel tardy. Uh, Oren, it's you. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. You know what? I'm just gonna, like, it's a weird you out that Zoga has less hit points than us, Co. Zoga has less hit points than us? Fewer Just points. barely, but he does. He yeah, that makes me feel kind of better. Uh-huh. Yeah. Servanus or Orin are the beefy ones. Yeah. Don't need him, though. I, I haven't died. What? what? Yep. That's true. That's true. No, I. No whammies. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so I have a question. If I walk into this little uh, square thing, do I like disappear or can I like? If you don't want to leave the battle, I would stay where you are. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Yeah. Then. And I'm going to ready an action, which is uh, move one square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If anything scary happens, I'm going to just backward step into safety. <laughs> And just vanish like okay. the gif of Homer in the bush. No, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. That would be cowardly. I didn't want to run in the first place. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Don't worry. I didn't want to run. I didn't want to like leave the, the shadow beast part. Like, That's oh, true. Like, guys. <laughs> I'm like ready to go. Or um, B would still be alive today. <laughs> oh, I was like. In that fight, I was so... I, I was really trying to determine, like, if I should go after the Shadow Beast that was closer to me, or if I could use my movement in a teleport or a charge to go Ooh. towards the Shadow Angel. Because I had this feeling. I was like, this Shadow Angel is, like, gonna fuck shit up if it's yeah. not taken care yeah, of. Yeah, the Shadow Angel is pretty bad. And it did fuck things up. So. TBH, I mean, could the power of two Orins fighting together be contained? I'm not sure. I mean, like, technically, that thing killed me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, that that Orin is um, like seventh level, by the way. Mm. I could take her. A <laughs> <laughs> big fight with yourself. Yeah. By the way, I know that I know that um, this is somewhat metagaming. I know that Dale had intuited that the Gold Knight was an alternate version of Orin. What did the rest of you guys think the Gold Knight was? I don't know. I know that I Co asked how many. Like, Co, uh, Justice, you thought it might be alternate Lavellus. I thought maybe. I yeah. thought like uh, I thought either that or uh, or somebody Lavellus, somebody that knew Lavellus out here or something, or maybe that the Gold Knight was the the her dead god. Like Rizra. oh oh, that's a mm, yeah, that's cool. Don't you? In a way, out? it was someone that I knew from yeah. Orden. Somebody of. that you used to. Yeah. Know. Uh, uh, whose turn is it? What the fuck is going on, Oren? It's to be one moment. Yeah, so I'm just gonna delay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then I. What else? Um, I'm gonna do the other thing. I'm gonna move here, and then I'm going to ready in action. No, you can't do both. I'm looking at the rules that are for nerds. I know that I said that, but it says that it's a standard action to ready in action. Uh, okay, fair enough. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I could be reading it wrong, but I mean, that's... that's I think good. I'm... I, I, I know that I say this all the time, but I actually think this is true. I think I'm remembering the rules from 3rd edition. I mean, it's believable. You have a lot of additions in your head. The ready in action is the trigger thing. Yep. One and a half. Yep. Yeah. Delays, yeah. So... Let me back in. For the trigger, um, if... I And I think I think the trade-off is that it's like, if that trigger never happens... Then, then you just... Yeah, you, you kind of right? wasted your thing, yeah. Yeah, um, so my trigger is going to be that if any hobgoblin comes within 10 squares of me, I'm going to hit him with Compellon's Retribution. Cool. Ding. Sir Vanazor. Right. This stupid git face is just going to get a javelin right in his face right now. Come on. Hmm. Nice. There he is. You want to roll damage so I can see which one he is? He's number 11. Last. Night, 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 night. Oh yeah. Right through the eye. Why is there a big red circle? It's, that's just me like... making sure I know where ten squares is. Okay. The perimeter. Uh, after just perimeter. Fl- <laughs> flinging that, flinging a javelin at that grunt. I might kind of, I, I might turn round at the archers behind me and just give the two fingers salute. Yeah, yeah, like, sure. Like, <laughs> and <laughs> two fingers salute. Yeah, the, and then. Book it. Uh, I'd probably run as well, actually, then. Got to run, so what's, I've got my speed six, but that gives me an extra two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can't, because I've, cause I've attacked and moved. That's it, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. We'll figure this game out sooner or later. Another couple hundred sessions. I know, yeah, mate. Someday. I always, every day, I always have to, like, is that right? <laughs> can, I, can I do another move? I didn't do another. Yeah. One of the things How they. How many one hours of the things, do they say before you master yeah, something? Yeah, ten thousand, ten thousand hours. They um, 
One of the things they changed when they left the four, one of the, one of the things they thought was a problem with fourth edition was the fact that you get a standard move and minor action, and they designed it that way because then it's a clear. There, one of the questions everybody has when they play D and D is like, "What is drinking a potion? What is opening a door?" Right? That's every edition of the game, players are like, "Well, I know that swinging my sword is an attack, and I know that running thirty feet is a movement, but what's what are these? What's reading a scroll?" Right? And so, fourth edition invented the idea of a minor action. Right? It's you're, there's an actual defined thing, which is drink a drink a potion, read a scroll, open a door, that kind of stuff. But what happened was they believed players would spend an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out how to use their minor action. Right? Instead of just move, they go. Move, I moved. I attacked. Oh, I've got a minor action. What can I do with that? And they would sit around trying to figure out if there was a way to maximize the effectiveness of that. And so they they deleted it from 5th edition. I see. But I actually don't think that was that big a deal. I don't think players sat around thinking. Anyway, uh, it's Co. Yes, it is Co. Um, So I'm going to run. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I can go eight. So one, two, three... I use the number Oops. pen. Don't forget that you guys can, everybody can, if you um, right click and hold it down and then hold, press and hold left click, you can draw a thing and you can just go, how far is 16? It's that far. And then just move your dude there. So you don't have to count it out. Did I summon that weird thing there? What is that? Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. I don't know how I did that. I, I think that I me. cast the spell that by me. accident. Oh. That was I was illustrating the fact that if you don't want to go one, two, three, and do it manually, you can just draw a thing and go, well, I've got 16 squares, so that's 16. And then just move your dude to the end of that arrow. Anybody can do that. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh. I'm, oh, I'm stuck. I'm Episode five, 21. Three, seven, eight, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump. Uh, I'm going to use my action to do another move action. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I actually chat twitch chat i think bonus actions are are worse because it's a much less obvious how bonus actions work minor action oh, by the way, no, in, in fifth edition they they invented the idea of a bonus action and oh, okay but the yeah. way but it, bonus actions don't work the way people think they do as novice players novice players think that a bonus action is just a type of action that everybody has access to but that's not how it works some classes have some abilities that say yes. as a bonus action you can do this as thing a bonus action yeah and if it doesn't say that you don't get a bonus action like it's not a thing everybody has access to and that is not obvious. It's clever, but it's not obvious. Some animals are more equal than others. Yeah. So what was the thing that you gave us in the chain that was from all tradition? Like leeches, um, when I could run over and pick someone up. That is a warlord ability that Zoga will have access to at some point if you keep playing. That was it. Yep. That's a really cool... Ooh. Like, you know, I did a video... I did a video... Finals. Yeah, I did a video years ago about if you're if you play if you're a dungeon master in fifth edition, go buy the fourth edition monster manual and just fucking pillage the shit out of it because all the monsters in fourth edition have cool abilities, right? And you can just steal them and just hand them out as whatever rewards, titles. They're awesome. All right, uh, monsters can't exist. So God, don't die back there. Um, I need you to. I need you standing right where you're at to. Just look me in the eyes from across this field. Survive. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting to. Nice little reversal. That man's got luck tattooed to his ass. <laughs> All right. The uh, archers, the archers fire ineffectually, and you folks are able to exit the map safely. Oh, so, sorry. Uh, yeah. We're flipping Phew. them off as we go. The archers are out of range. Oh, cool. Yeah, basically. Yeah, you guys. There's, oh, no, there's no. There's no. You guys have beaten this encounter. There's no point in. Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not accountants. There's no point in playing out every single square move. Okay, I'm out. All right. So now, uh, you have escaped the Blood Skull Barracks. There is an army of Blood Skull Hobgoblins preparing behind you. They have to unfuck the gate that you guys broke, and also their um, their Blood Drinker uh, war leader is organizing them to chase you. And uh, so it is a getting getting to the White Ravine, which is the 
uh, southern edge of Blood Skull territory is going to be a skill challenge. Oh, yeah, I remember these. Oh, skill challenge. Oh, There's yeah. a rope bridge. We There's did? a rope yeah. bridge across the ravine. If we can skill get challenge, as long as we get there first and get across, we, we can, can cut the, the bridge. Yeah. All right. Be good. So here's how the skill challenge works. Um, you need to get some number of successes. Where we, you make, you make, you make, each player. I don't know. I don't remember if we've done. I don't remember who remembers what about skill challenges of what I've said. But this is um, every Get everybody. It, 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 this is just an excuse. This is a way for us to simulate like a montage, right? Like a, the A team scene or whatever. We're gonna need a montage. And so uh, this is not an encounter with a grid and bad guys on it. We're just notionally playing out in our head the act of Woderhead trying desperately to keep these humans because if it were just up if it was just you guys you would make it it's these humans the 21 humans that are left that you are who are in your care that you are trying to safely and quickly get to the ravine which means you're going to be making skill checks and it's up to you each one of you it's uh, part of the fun of this is looking at your list of skills and coming up with creative ways inventive ways to use that skill to earn a success and I, you tell me how you're going to use the skill, and uh, and then I set the difficulty based on how hard I think what you're describing is. You can only use skills you're trained at in a skill challenge. Hi, right. gotcha. And you, each player can only use each trained skill once. So, like Cervanazor, maybe he were trained in athletics. Once you've yeah. come up with, once Matt O'Driscoll has thought of a way that your athletics might help you get these people to safely safety quickly and you make a check at that point that was your athletics shot other people can try athletics but you can't do it again now this forest is um or rather the skill challenge um is about mobility and leadership can you get all these people to the ravine before the blood skulls catch them uh and it, 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 if you fail a skill challenge, you accumulate. A, if you if you make a check and you fail, you have accumulated a failure. Once you once once you as a team accumulate three failures, the skill challenge ends, and you will be deposited. You will arrive. So no matter what happens, you are going to arrive at the ravine. The only question is, what shape? Are the bad guys in? Are there any bad guys there waiting for you? Were they able to catch up to you? How many of them were able to catch up to you? How difficult will the actual physical act of getting all these humans across the bridge while you're being attacked by hobgoblins be? Right? And you don't know how many successes you need. But you know it's at least nine. Which is oh, means I this is at least a me, this is a medium That's difficulty. So many. This is a medium difficulty challenge. You need at least nine before you accumulate three failures, and you have to think. Use your imagination. This is a this. There is a path that leads to the ravine. You're on it. You saw it on the map, right? There is a worn pathway that if you just follow, it will take you to the ravine. But it is narrow, and all twenty one villagers cannot run along it without bunching up and you know slowing down. There are going to be obstacles in your way. There are going to be fallen trees. There are going to be boulders blocking paths. Um, yeah, so it's up to you to think about how could I use, what skills do I have that could help with mobility, that could help with leadership, and it's also an opportunity if you'd like invent scenarios, right, and say, well, what if, so, what do you guys think? I think that sounds pretty good. How are you going to do this? All right. I actually have a tracker here, I don't think you guys can see it, where I can track successes and failures based on well. your skill. No, it's just, just sorry. Uh, so we're at a ravine, and what you said. You, you are. Like, uh, sorry, go ahead. Wait, sorry, go going ahead. to the. Ravine. Yeah, you are to running the to the ravine. Yeah, and when the skill challenge ends, I'm going to set up the encounter at the ravine, and we'll see what the nature of the bad guys are based on how many failures you got, if any. Hi. Yeah, may we begin? Yeah. And you can you I'm can trained. you can talk and brainstorm and. Oh okay. What I've got we, one. So like, what do we? What are we like? Is there like something right in front of us, like right now that we're? In- you're uh, imagine you're. I mean, um, no. It's not. It's more abstract than that. I've got one. Can I go? Yeah, go for it. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna do a, a, an intimidation, like, as like motivation. Sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna tell this quick story about how like when you're when you're on a boar hunt, like you don't need to be the fastest, but you don't want to be the slowest. And I'll like take like my hand and like touching one of my wounds, like I have blood all over my hand and I'm just gonna like smear it down my face. So my face is just completely red with my own blood. Wow. And I'm basically saying like, you know, (laughs) don't get, you know, don't be any slower than I am certainly. And I'm just gonna start fucking running for it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like the the Whoa. the uh, the blood on your face. I think is worth um, a plus two to your roll. Ooh. So go ahead and give yourself a plus two modifier. And make an intimi- make an intimidation check. Oh yeah, no problem. Ooh. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to grant you two successes because that, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, that's an extraordinary success. Shit, yeah. Except I don't know. I don't know how to. Um, what happens if I do this? Hey, it worked. That's cool. I wish it was less stupid than that, but let me do it again. There we go. Okay, so of the nine successes you need, so this is how it works, right? Is Tom just told a little story, right, that is evocative, and you can picture it in your mind like you're watching a movie, where we're not going to follow these heroes literally over every single square of ground. We're going to cut back and forth to all the shit that happened from from the barracks to the ravine and that was one little snippet anybody else have any ideas yes okay yeah you go sorry so i am trained in stealth skill and i would oh, like cool. to use that skill yeah uh I'd, I'd like to say that maybe ko like sits for a second as he's moving he tries to channel in his old rock armor to blend in with his surroundings better so he's trying to resist the ruby and maybe grows that in layer of rockiness over him and I'm going to sneak up uh, and and try to like scope out the blood skulls and yeah. see what kind of stage they're at and report back. Well, what you'll see is that there's a blood skull scout uh, right by you. Like there's a handful of scouts that are right on your heels. So if you make a stealth check and you're successful, then you could smoke that scout. Because oh, you, yeah, you lie, that. you lie in wait for the scout, and we, there's not even any combat. Okay. Let's hope it's not the illustrious grunt number eleven. No. Oh, look at that! Oh, that, was, that was super yeah. cool. Um, that was super cool. It came with like a Beyblade. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> rip. Well, and that was um, this is that's a, that's a, crazy enough. So yeah, so Ko hides, uses his his natural stone camouflage, and w- there's a one of the Blood Skull Scouts, which are very fast. They don't wear armor. Um, is right behind him, and Ko just reaches out and Maybe grabs a guy. And go ahead. He like hides, but like he's peeking up on us, and he like moves behind this rock. And like looks around the corner to try to spy on us, and then the rock just stands up and turns around, and it's Ko. Oh. And I just. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have four successes now. Uh, and you need, you need at I, least nine. I'm sorry. Can I? I was gonna, gonna can I ask a question. Can yes. I? Because these things that you're trained in. Yeah, it has to be trained. Uh, can you combine two of things that you're trained in for one? Thing. Well, to describe, there's some, a skill challenge is a kind of, um, they can be designed lots of different ways. There can, okay, be, there can be, there can be, there can be things, <laughs> there can be some, there can be some skills that if you succeed, you get multiple successes. There can be skills, you, you can accumulate a failure and then use a skill to undo a failure, depending on um, how the sca- challenge is designed. So it depends on what you're, you know, p- what pitch I it to me. Thinking. Okay, yeah. so uh, perception, I was going to like run, so yeah. kind of sort of runs to the front of the group. So I'm, I'm in front of the human sure. and use my perception to like uh, just kind of locate like so we're running down a track or something yep. like that. Yep. And so like the best place to literally put your foot as I'm as I'm putting my foot down, I'm detecting with my perception, you know, you're going you're gonna to hit this rock. You're going sure. like, yeah. to yeah. speed up the humans. Uh, yeah, you're used to you're used there. to doing stuff like this. They're not. So with you my, can point stuff out to them that they wouldn't see otherwise. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I'm detecting that with perception. Sure. But then perhaps backing that up with athletics. Or perception just does it. Well, are you trained in perception? 
Both. Yes, I am. Well, yep. go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Actually, this is going to be standby. Um, somewhat lower of a DC. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Perception. 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 Yep. 17. Yep, that is a success. Okay. So I'm like, as I'm bounding through, like, Put your foot here. Put your foot there. Here, like jump onto this ledge, over to that ledge, to just speed them up as they're going through towards the uh, the bridge. So yeah, Servanosaur is doing kind of his natural leadership thing, and and uh, the it, it, and having done stuff like this before, and uh, having been the pursuer and the pursued, I'm sure in Servanosaur's career, it's uh, relatively easy for him to point out to the uh, humans how to avoid some of the pitfalls on the path. Anybody else want? Anybody else have any ideas? You guys have five successes and no failures. Yeah, uh, real quick. Uh, how did Justice? You used like a stealth check, right? Yep. And as I turned into a rock and then stood up. And was that to avoid being seen by the scout? Well, it was more like he lay in wait for the scout, and the scout did, because he because he succeeded in his skill check, the scout didn't see him, and. Uh, and he was able to take advantage of that and kill the scout, which means now you guys are a little bit farther ahead. There, you know, there are, the distance between you and the hobgoblins is greater because there are now fewer hobgoblins. Got it. Nice. Okay. Um, kind of in a similar vein, I'm going to use my perception for sure. something like that, yep. which is that as we're moving through quickly and everybody's able to benefit from um, Servinazor's, like, you know, put your foot here, do this, do that, like the pathfinding aspect of it. Um, I'm going to be staying in the I'm going to be the rear guard and then that way I can use my elf eyes to see if we have anybody following us and then what if do I do perceive them then see? I yeah then I can just like, you know smash them with my battle axe kind of thing that sounds good go ahead and make a perception check Oh yeah, Ooh, no problem. That's a goodie. No problem. Yeah, there's um, there are two blood skull scouts that uh, were that are the. In fact, these scouts seem to have been advanced scouts that were actually out here in the forest, um, probably on patrol. And Orin flushes them out. Orin's they they're they're good at hiding, but not they can't beat Orin's elf eyes. And so two quick. Uh, battle axe strokes and two more dead scouts and you guys now have seven successes nice. okay i have discovered probably for the third or fourth time that the things i'm trained in and the things i'm good at are not the same but that's interesting um, because i would I, expect that the things that you're trained at are the things that you're good in like by I, definition it turns out no <laughs> it turns out no um I clearly get my bonuses elsewhere, um, but... Oh, I see. You're trained in stuff where you have, your stats are bad, and the places where your stats are good, you're not trained. Yes, I get exactly. It. That makes sense. Um, except for insight, which is not necessarily the most useful in our current situation. So can I try to, like, inspire the humans with diplomacy and be like... We're so close. You're so close to getting out of here. That sounds more like, uh, that doesn't sound diplomatic. That sounds maybe like persuasion or, yeah, per or performance. Persuasion exists in this. I think that, uh, you might be right. Is those things in this well, edition. Actually, let me check out. Let me, let me read what diplomacy says. Um, I can do a different thing. I just, I, well, you know, it, at face value, diplomacy does not sound like what you're describing. However, I actually don't know what, the rule for diplomacy is. It might say diplomacy includes all this bullshit that Matt Colville doesn't think of as being diplomatic. In which case, what you're saying makes perfect diplomacy sense. Diplomacy is kind of close to persuasion. Um, um, that doesn't. If there's no, if there's no uh, persuasion check, then that makes sense. You can influence others it's, it's, with yeah, tact, I agree with you, subtlety, kind of annoying, social grace. Like mm, no, this isn't. This isn't about tact, subtlety, or social grace. Um, no, I rule no. This is not. A, this is not a scenario where diplomacy will help. Okay. It's also not a scenario where religion will help mm. or arcana. Let me see. Insight. Um, you have insight. Insight might help. To do what? Insight, literally, the description is like, you uh, understand discern. people's motivations. <laughs> like, um, 
that I can use well, stealth. Maybe you could I could s- say I, I got trained in stealth uh, recently. I could try um, skills. In maybe it. organizing the people to move in like like weird patterns and different like bits of single file to to try and throw off the direction. Well, go ahead and uh, do me a favor. Go ahead and make a uh, go ahead and make a stealth check for me. Which, by the way, guys, I'm not very good at. Um, but I am trained in. <laughs> yes, you are trained in it, but you did not roll well enough. Uh, it's almost like I'm trained in things that I'm not very good at. So, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> when I do this, er, you accumulate a failure. And I was asking you to roll because your skill with stealth might have revealed something but it didn't because you failed next <sighs> I do another one um, I got another one yeah as long as you're not as long as you use this, as long as no one player uses the same skill twice you can do it again so I'm, I'm trained in endurance yeah that sounds good to me basically every time any of these humans looks behind him yeah they, they see me with a completely blood-covered red <laughs> face, wearing chainmail, holding this, like, necro sword, just <laughs> running like a T-1000. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, because, and so it, it kinda, it's, it's like in, you're inspiring them with your physical nice, endurance. Nice. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, that's, that's good enough. Um, <laughs> good enough. Can I just do that? Will it do it right? Yep, I don't even have to drag it on the thing. That's awesome. What is this little thing here for? What does that do? Oh, oh, interesting. What is that? Uh, hmm. Oh, cool. Awesome. Anyway. I've got one. Are yes. we be seeing anything on our end? By nope, the way? I, 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 which is weird. I don't know why you guys can't see the skill challenge tracker. Only the DM can. But I think it's because um, maybe they... Uh, like w- one of the reasons when I describe skill challenges, people are like, "Oh, that's cool," is because I make it more explicitly like a mini game, whereas the actual design in Fourth Edition was the players aren't even supposed to know they're in a skill challenge. Mm-hmm. They don't. They oh. should not. They, sh- they should not be thinking in terms of successes or failures. And in fact, my rules for skill challenges are actually quite different than, than the regular rules. Um, like in the regular rules, Tom Schmuck could just make nine checks with whatever his best skill is and just it beat the entire skill challenge all by himself with one skill. Nah, nah, and so it's like, that's, that's, that's stupid. So I've somewhat limited it to force the players to be a little bit more inventive. And so something like using your endurance to kind of inspire them, it's insp- it's inspirational, but it's purely just in the fact that they turn around and they see Zoga and that dude does not stop. And they think if he doesn't stop, I don't stop. And they keep running, right? And the, and the parents pick their children up and the parents are like, come on, we can make it, we can go. We can make it. And every time somebody flags behind, they turn and they see, you know, Oren flushing out a goblin and chopping its head off. They see Zoga just like with his blood red face running. And they're like, we can do it. We can make it. And then um, I'm going to use heal. Ooh, and interesting. So kind of like in the same vein as like you know everybody's getting kind of inspired yeah. like to move more quickly but they're also like humans right yep. and they're some of them are old or frail or like not well people are hungry oh. or whatever the case is and so um as i am moving forward like swiftly like among the humans and things like that um because well because i'm in the rear guard i tend to be around the humans who are like a little bit slower sure and so as a way to kind of um to kind of help them keep moving at the same like pace as everybody else, um, I can use heal to like. I have an basically... idea. I have an idea. Yes. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to steal your thunder. Go ahead. Um. Well, it's just a. It's just like a way for me to like, because you know how I have like the whole energy thing. So it's more of just like a. You know, I feel confident. I feel like. Um, uh, what's the word for it? I have like a, a lot of optimism we're gonna get out of this and so I can just like reach out and like gently like like touch them like on the back and kind of just like push them forward a little bit but also try to like transfer some of that like Make a energy check. into them yeah let me see very good you uh you see the the, the group of you not just Oren um 
you see one of the villagers uh, twist their leg and fall to the ground and scream. And Oren, just without even moving, like Oren has got the 20 strength, picks this villager up and goes, poop, and pops their leg back in joint. And they're like, holy shit. And they don't even, they barely even break a stride. So that was, um, all right, boop. All right, you're getting, you can hear, um, actually, you, you smell moisture in the air. Hmm. Uh, well, I have one. Go for okay. it. Okay, you go. You're uh, very, you're like very to, close to the ravine at this point. I, I pick up many of the slow moving children and, and carry them on Uncle my back. Uncle Co! Uncle Co! Yes, I go full on Uncle Co. Their children are just crawling all over his, his big back and shoulders uh, like a like a turtle. Uh, so I'd like to make athletics. Oh, that's no problem. Um, how many kids are you going to pick up? Mm-hmm. Hey, all of them. <laughs> how many kids are there? All of them. Uh, okay, well, like that's good. that's pretty hard. That's going to be a little bit difficult. So that's... Uh, that's the okay, like, that's like five kids. <laughs> well, five, five kids, five kids is like a lot. <laughs> so go ahead and make a, go ahead and make a roll. Well, there he comes. Go, go. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, you, you rolled. You rolled a six, <laughs> and I was like, "Uh oh!" But you have a crazy guy <laughs> bonus. Uh, Good thing I'm athletic. All right, you reach. You reach. You reach the ravine. Stand by. But the blood skulls are right on your heels. In that case, yes. If you don't mind, go for Let's it. say we're at the ravine. You are. And there might be a like a. Like a rock or something I can stand on that's near the ravine that puts me higher as if I'm overlooking the humans and everyone kind of running towards the ravine and uh, I'm going to kind of puff my chest out and give like a huge roar like these goblins are no match for woad ahead move on and I'm using intimidate against the goblins okay that sounds good go for it okay If you roll well enough, you, you guys did, only... What? Did it roll? Yeah, I didn't see a die. Did anybody else see a die? Nope, I, it rolled. Let me tell you it something. Let me tell you something. Okay. You guys only have... You guys only have... Okay, fine. Oh, nope. Like 15? Yep. That's a, that's, that's, that's a success. Uh, but it's not high enough to undo the failure you got. Uh, what was my failure? You guys, you guys, you uh, you guys got oh, you guys sorry. accumulated one failure in this challenge. Gotcha. I yep. don't remember who it was. It was Lavelle's, I think. All right, I do. All right, so I'm, so I'm still standing. Wait, no, you guys are there. You guys are there. It's over. Oh. Sorry. Fine. You were just getting into it. Thank we're gonna keep rolling. Yeah. Your funsies. Nice. I understood. Um, no, I said you needed at least. I didn't tell you how many successes you needed. I said it was at least nine, and you got more than nine. So you guys reach. <laughs> The thing, and now I gotta do a thing here. Man, skill checks and doing this and working this stuff out is fun. I love skill challenges. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's just some some five-y? some players kind of uh, no s- skill challenges are skill challenges uh, are a very 1990s thing from lots of different games. They're usually called extended tests, like you saw them in like the Star Trek RPG and stuff like that. Because it's stuff games that were more about focusing on simulating a, ne- a cinematic experience not fighting monsters mm-hmm. right and so you everybody's watched tv or you've watched movies where there are these montages so there were lots of games in the 90s that had that and fourth edition kind of rolled that in but um they didn't do a super good job like presenting it and so people kind of scratched their heads but me and a bunch of my friends who were like oh this is just an extended test from you know hong kong action theater or feng shui or any number of games we, we perfectly got it and so we liked it, and of course, they cut it from right. fifth edition. Um, and a, a well-designed skill test, uh, which that one, by the way, was not particularly well-designed. It was kind of an ad hoc. Let's just do it. The skill challenges are great for a dungeon master who wants to do something really cinematic, but somewhat improvisational. But a really well-designed skill test. There are explicit ways to get m- a multiple successes from one roll. There are some. There are like valves that'll. If you use this skill, the DC might be high, but you can undo. Um, a failure or convert a failure into a success. They're, they can be really like um, gamey and mechanical, but usually they're used to be kind of freeform, kind of 
And just a you know, D and D is not a skill based game. It's a game about fighting monsters. And so without skill challenges, there aren't a lot of opportunities to be creative with your skills and be like, I got an idea. Um, yeah, that's what was fun about that. It's like, God, okay, let's think about what I can do with this intimidate or whatever you're gonna. Use. Yeah, well, yeah, I wanted. I thought that. I thought that you guys only accumulated one failure, and I thought. And so, and the, but the. I thought your intimidate idea was strong enough, especially coming at the end. That you know, if these blood skull hobgoblins turn the corner and see the ravine, and there's Cervanazor screaming at them, it might just you know make them go, oh shit, long enough to undo the failure you got, and then there wouldn't even be an encounter. But there was. Uh, 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 you arrive at the White Ravine. Okay. Oh, so, there it is. Is it a ravine? Is it white? <gasps> it's both of those things. Whoa. And um, the, the, the bottom of the ravine is so far down that you can't see it. It's just there's fog all the way down. And this is a rope bridge. And uh, unfortunately, you guys made it all the way here with only one failure. Which means um, only a handful, only a handful of the army that is following you. There's five entire fists of the Blood Skull Hobgoblin tribe on your heels. So this is the extent of what was able to keep up with you guys and follow you. And it's initiative. Fuck, I thought we did pretty well. You did do pretty well. You did. You did really well. That's why that's why there's not a shitload more people here. <laughs> I still see quite a lot. Yeah, but I'm guessing we didn't get a short rest. So, no. <laughs> Justice. That's that's <laughs> we were running. <laughs> I ask a few or no, but that's pushing it. <laughs> Can I have a little short rest there while I was running? I said I'm guessing we Cause did. Because we, we watched that. True, that's true. It. It's something that they would say for sure. <laughs> oh, wait. Here we go. We got to roll initiative, right? Yep. Uh, that's, that's, what, that's what's that's what happening as far as I can tell, yeah. I don't know. I don't oh, know. wow. Uh, Servanus or got the maximum. Based. Nice. Critical initiative. Time for some dragon breath. It and this is, is, is it, uh, this is, is about to be the end of the entire campaign. Is this a new or at least book one? Nope. Encounter. Yes, this is a new encounter. This is absolutely a new encounter. May I have my encounter? May we have back, our encounter powers? Which back, would be please. an action point as well. <laughs> please, for me. please, sir. Uh, so this is Lord. a short. As it, so, wait. <laughs> I guess that means it's a short rest. No. It's, you didn't take a rest, but it is a new encounter. That's interesting. Short rest plus Ooh. milestone. I think it is short rest plus milestone. Yeah. I'll take it. So you guys are going to get a short rest plus milestone, but you can't spend any healing surges because you didn't Fine. You didn't oh, actually okay. rest. Right? You're going to get all your encounter powers back. You're going to get your action point back, but you don't get any opportunity. You literally didn't rest. So Fine. there we go. We could do it even without getting our encounter powers back. Couldn't we, Banazor? So just aware... There is <laughs> pointed silence from OD. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe. This is um. I mean, raw. J- this is just the vanguard of about <clears throat> seven hundred hobgoblins. Sweet. Wow. Um. That's not good. But this is the edge of their territory. Hi. Oh, that's a cool little emote you got there, Tom. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, grunt, grunt, grunts. We don't care about it. How many behind him? Soldier, warcaster, shit, archer, wankers. Okay, archers Wanker. in the back. So don't Wanker. don't don't forget that the grunts are um, minions. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. I don't care about them. All right, here we go. So as you can see, the humans are making their way somewhat slowly, or, or as fast as they can, over this rickety um, rope and wood bridge that hangs over. The ravine. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at Zoga and I'm going to go Angel of Fire. Like, like Zoga does this thing where, like, he like kind of, like, leans his body back a little bit and, like, cocks his head at you and just makes this completely goofy face that you've never... You would never imagine that he would make. And he just goes... <laughs> like, <laughs> of course. 
<laughs> I would like to summon the flames of Eileen. Oh, Christ. Now i got to go into the list of the NPCs. Yeah, you do. I'm going to go find my, un- my uncategorized NPCs. Drop Madam Crisco over here. Give at Madam Crisco a 3D initiative so that uh, she acts when Lavelle's Bell- does. And where do you want? Where do you want the Angel of Fire? I'd like him right in the middle of that um, front rank of, of got it. miniony right. boys. There we go. There he is. Let's make him. Oh, look wonderful. at that! Just right, complete nice their little can... formation. Yeah, you know, I just felt like there was a gap there that really needed to be filled. Um, it looks like and, like a history me. Now. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pew 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 in a square around the angel erupts in flame. Let's see how we go. Holy shit. 17, oh, 1, 3, bad 2. Bad roll. You rolled a 1, a 2, and a 3. Look. No way. Awesome. On the bright This is what happens. Opportunity, opportunity attacks still exist, but it's okay. For this now, is what happens when, when, you're, when your god this is one dead. This dude can die. <laughs> it oh. is what happens when your god is dead, isn't it? Uh, an angel of fire. An angel of fire... Um, like somewhat like a, a comet coming down from the sky, it, a, a burning uh, meteor smashes into the ground, and erupting out of it is this angelic, flaming angelic figure who smotes uh, a grunt. Somewhat anticlimactic after that dramatic entrance, but there we are. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> it's how it is. Uh, I'm gonna defeat yeah, everyone. Uh, you in the eye. Er, Solvy the bald. Where, where the fuck are you, Sylvie? Did I not put you out here? I didn't put you out here. Where the hell is Sylvie? Uh, oh no, we lost him. We oh, left we him behind. Do <laughs> some cool magic, Sylvie. Or salvation. Oh no. Come on. What's the range? <laughs> oh, it's Just only this. five. It's only five. Um, he'd have to actually go quite a bit of a ways to get the. Actually, what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, he'd have to. Fuck. He doesn't have. He doesn't have any good ranged shit. Well, what he can do is he can go. Nur, nur, nur. Actually, is that now? Um, oh yeah, he's well within range, and he'll just um, try to he'll try to curse a grunt. Half square. Half square. So ha- the half just chilling on the, the half, ha- half fleur or half square. Uh, yep, yeah, he's able to. He smokes a grunt. He's a grunt smoker. <laughs> nice. Um, Solvi pops a cork out of a flask and drinks the drinks the red liquid within and then he kind of like almost like um, a baseball player spitting a stream of tobacco out of his mouth he spits a line of red liquid and when it hits the grunt it bursts into flame and bur- oh hey it's Nick hey Nick it bursts into flame and kills the grunt nice dude savage nice what a weird little gnome he's an alchemist he's, he's a gnome alchemist uh, so what do you do little asshole you have not an awesome speed um one uh oh one two three four five four five four five why are you stopping why are you acting like a wank and uh does the angel fire have hit points can it be attacked uh yes what's its armor class um, but for some reason, it says that it has eight wounds. Let me, let me. Yeah, let me I can fix that. I can fix that. Figure out about my angel of fire. I think its AC is the same as mine. I think I think its defenses are the same as mine, and its hit points are half my hit points. Right, because like he has seventeen. He has seventeen hit points, and you have thirty-eight hit points. He should have. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. No. Half I of maths. I half can't of be half of to do this. Half of. 30 is 15, half of it should be 19. It should have 19 15, points. Okay, yes. Yay. <laughs> there you go. Um, so he has 19 hit points and he has your armor class. Actually, can I, can I, what is your armor class? I think it's 19. You think it's 19? It's 19, I just checked. Thank you. Okay, so now I can actually have this guy target him. So yeah, that's what he'll do. Because he gets all sorts of cool shit if he does that. Stand by. Uh, just giggling at this <laughs> slutty chat. This <laughs> slutty <laughs> chat. <laughs> well. Oh yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. He starts wait. The, the, this guy, the soldier's got a flail, and he starts wailing on the angel of fire, and he actually does not a small amount of damage to it. Um, mm. And I guess. 
he's going to mark the Angel of Fire. So the Angel of Fire takes a penalty if it uh, attacks, makes an attack that doesn't include the soldier, and that's that soldier's turn. And now it's this soldier's turn, and he's going to basically do the same thing. Now he's flanking. He's going to target the Angel of Fire. He gets a bonus, the same same thing. He gets a bonus to his armor class because he's standing next to some of his buddies. He's a phalanx warrior. And, um, oh, sorry. And also, this dude... When he did his thing, his thing also slows the Angel of Fire. And now it's this guy's turn. And he will use his other flail ability, which is this one. Ooh, that's a miss. Suck my monkey. Swing and a miss. More baseball. It's everywhere. Swing and a miss. Sir Vanazor. Hmm. You can hear... You can hear... Many, many more hobgoblins shouting and screaming. There's like a, basically an entire fucking like, you know. That's my thought. Like, Zoga, Banasaur, Lavellis were like basically got a blockade. Bridge. Here, right? Yeah. Should should we yes, yeah, so I I don't think I'm I move from here. Um We hold the line. We have the yeah, defender's edge. We hold the Let line. the humans cross. We yeah. cross. We cut the fucking bridge. Yep. That's how this yeah. goes down. Deal with me. So for now, I'm just going to target. Um, I think I can at least hit one of these with a javelin. Uh, this chap here, I think. Oh shit, where's my character sheet gone? There it goes. Uh, so I'll do that. And I think I told him. Yeah, I did. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you hit even with his, even though he has a bonus because mm-hmm. he's standing next to his buddies. He's a phalanx fighter. You hit him anyway. That was weird. Oh, That's go on. Max damage. Go on, the old max damage. Max damage. Oh, yes. It's the only thing I don't like about crits in this game is that it's, if you roll, it's no different than rolling max. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, yeah, true. That was, that was a crit, Bummer. basically. Yeah. But yeah. Um, there are weapons. Most, most magic weapons give you cool bonus dice when you, um, when you do roll a quit. So uh, anyway. Just wounded, right? Yep, no, just hurt. Just bloody. hurt, not okay. bloodied. Uh, and then I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to stand here next to uh, Zoga and Avilis and right. not move. Well, then it's time to say your turn's over. Co. Yep, Co. Uh, I'm a bit torn. I don't really have any range attacks. Um, but if I go in there, I'm going to die the death of a thousand spears. Not good, my friend. <laughs> Please don't die the death of a thousand spears again. It was very died, traumatic yeah. last no time. Yeah. Yeah. Also, was that was, the by the way, brought you back to life isn't there anymore. You guys can't, um, you guys can't see my genius here, but these are just soldiers. Why me? These guys are just <laughs> you guys, these guys are just soldiers. If you had more, if you had accumulated more failures, they would. There was one in version of this encounter where there were spear soldiers, which are the nasty guys that fucked you guys up. <laughs> so, yeah, I hate those guys. If it had been now, it'd probably turn my PC off. I mean, I can get within range and attack that front soldier. The tactical I mean, leader, what do okay. you think? <laughs> Justice, I will also say that if you attack that soldier at the front, you do get flanking with the Angel of Fire. And mm-hmm. if any of these other dudes try to move past the Angel of Fire, these motherfucking gay. So I said, like, let's just hold, hold the, the line. line. True, and hold yeah, the line! Yeah. Yeah, cross do, the bridge, do, do, the do. Be safe. Boulder heads always on time. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So you're saying you I have should like stay a hit here. and run thing, or I have a hit and then I can use my action point to run, but that seems cowardly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You guys, I have the uh, movement. Also, um, seems like you could do you more need, with it. You don't necessarily need to there run. Right. Sorry, you can hold with us. Sorry. Oh, I know I'm holding things up. Uh, this is just very interesting. Okay, well, actually, you know, while Take I hold the line, this is, this is not a bad time for me to use my sick and wind and use a healing surge, right? Yeah, that's good. To, yeah. That's a good point. Makes, maybe sit there and go. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, yeah. This is the first okay. chance you've had to actually sort of quasi rest since you uh, since Zoga gave the order to run. A little hee hee hoos, you know, and then a little deep breathing. Well, then I do that. That takes my, uh, that takes my, uh, you know, the word. There's a word there. Uh, and then I'm going to stand here to make more of a line. That's cool. Literally a line. That's cool. Look at that. 
Fuck yeah, Waterhead. Uh, Fuck yeah, Waterhead. We are Waterhead. We are Waterhead. I say, Arn, get up Orin. here. Go find Orin. a spot. Hi. Uh, Orin can have my spot. <laughs> Steve's yeah, over on the yeah. Road. One of these, one of these, uh, one I'm of these characters is polite. somewhat less frontliney than the other. <laughs> oh, should I, like, should we have swapped our places? Maybe I should go stand by Solvi. Uh, I think we would have already had to do it. Should, should I stand yeah, by you're Solvi? Good, you're good. You're good. Solvi does not appear to be well acquainted with the notion of danger. Solvi's fine. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, Solvi's fine. <laughs> he also has seventy hit he's points. He's fine. He's got so many. Yeah, hit points. Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah, he's a high level. Soak it up, Solvi. <laughs> That's what Solvi and the angel are for. That's so all dialogue. them hits. That's some good dialogue. Well, Zoga. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Zoga's a war leader, not a war. Uh, um, standard battle. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Didn't he <laughs> the one that said hold the line? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys hold the line. Okay. <laughs> okay. We hold the line. Uh, you know. No. This is helping hold the line. Listen, I've I, I, I've I've led a couple of wars before. All right. Not my first war leadering experience. <laughs> uh. Lest I speak too soon. Let's see. Bloop. Target you. Yeah. Warlord's favorite is. Ba bam. Hit. Wow. Even with Hit. the um, even with the bonus, even with the armor class bonus for being nice. wow bloody nice. nice. Well done. Uh, so then Solvi gets this bonus, and so does. So does Cervanazor. I know he wants to get into this. What do you give me? What do you give me? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have done that second one. I confused this with my other ability that lets two allies get that, but this uh, one only only one ally gets that. So Solvi uh, gets that. Vanazor okay. does not. No, oh, I'll be quiet, man. Are you done, Zogan? I have a question. Do I have two action points right now? Yep. Yeah, uh, but, 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 but you can, you can only, only use, use one, one per encounter. encounter. Correct. Right. Great reference, and Salem. Oh, thinking, thinking. Cogitating. It's really hard. Thinking. Cogitating, integrating. I'm doing it. I want this guy. Action. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do since I have, since I have combat advantage. I'm doing a heavy attack. Ooh. That so this heavy. is a this is a feat that I took. Uh, sorry, a, a power attack plus two oh, damage no, for minus attack. two to attack. So my my normal attack does. That's perfect because you, you're yeah you're flanking, which is plus two. Then you do a power attack for minus two, normal attack, but you get a bonus to damage. Ooh, eleven hits. Hit. Oh wow, awesome. Now you guys are yes. doing pretty well. Plus two damage. Die. Dying. Yes! yes! So sure I'm dying. And that guy's not a grunt. That guy's a real dude. He had fucking 50 hit points and he's dead. That's a oh, real man. dead dude. <laughs> a whole I dude did a throw a javelin at him. I'll take a little bit of credit. That's true. You did. <laughs> Even though You took Zoga, a big chunk you, out of him with that javelin, didn't you? Even though Zoga just went and smashed his head in. I mean, it took me more than one. <laughs> The warcaster points at the humans and says, "Don't let them escape." Where's the warcaster? Where's the warcaster? Why are they so interested in the humans? Of human? course he does. Where is he? Where that is, he? is too far away. Oh, he's down there. Um, this guy. Hey, he's miles away. He's he's way back. Yeah, fuck him. But he is. That one. Within range of, I'd say, Zoga and Solvi. Yep. Uh. The blood skull archer looses a red arrow high into the air. It arcs up and it slams down into this uh, villager's what? the back of his neck, and he dies. Oh, Which one? No. It was, I think, one of the Karasek. One family. of them. I didn't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, because these guys aren't on the combat tracker, it's, these are just little images, and I can't double click on them to find out who are you. Okay. Okay. No uh, so yeah, and this guy is. Um, Gonna try and do the same thing. No, uh, 
That's... Yeah, he's going to target that dude. Uh... If they, if he, if they hit... Yep. Hatches can shoot so far. Just die. Yeah, that's what... Yep. I mean, they, they have more than one hit point, but not many more than one hit. They're, they're like... They're not minions, but they're like zero, zero level peasants. Uh, yeah. So, can I... Can I... <coughs> God damn it. There we go. Um, another villager dies. To the so arrows. we like foretell that 22 of us would make it out. There's 22 of us not counting Solvi right now. Well, Solvi was just responding to how many humans were left. There were 22 humans when you uh, met Solvi. Now there's quite a bit oh, fewer. Okay. Now there's quite a bit fewer. As Durok predicted, every time the... Actually, that's not true. The we the last encounter, all the villages were on the map and no one died. Um. Actually, yeah, this grunt mm. this grunt is going to do his thing. Yeah, why not? Plus eight against the Angel of Fire. That's a miss. Miss. This he's grunt is going to actually. Um, he might have. He might have should have hit because he's flanking, so he gets plus two. Actually, you're you even though you're a grunt, do you have anything cool? Um, yes, you do. Actually, you are harder to hit. That, ooh, it was going to be a miss, and then it wasn't. Angel of Fire is uh, bloodied. And uh, you are, um, this guy is going to move here. Target the Angel of Fire. He's standing next to one of his buddies, so he gets a bonus to AC. He attacks the Angel of Fire. He misses. Ah. Okay, okay. Grunt number six, which is the last of the grunts. He's going to move over. He's going to shift here so he gets um, flanking. He targets the Angel of Fire. He also is standing next to his buddies, so he gets plus two to his AC. And he attacks. And he misses. Nope. He hits. Ah. These guys do... Minions Minions do static I damage. I think Madam Crisco's out, squad. Yep. Dying. Oof. Madam Crisco uh, ah. returns to the plane from which she was summoned, and now it's, Too it's soon. Orin's would turn. Really when, like when Orin's done, the villagers will move. I would love to stand in between all of the soldiers if you all start planning that, because I have a close burst attack. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The close burst that fucking murked a whole bunch of goblins on a on the back of a spider. I remember that. I yeah, I would, close I would want attack. to... Oh, well. well get, but but you're closer. You can actually make it into the... Well, there's also my let's get anyway. across that bridge, cut that rope. You can't and move, and then it can't, can't follow us. Like just get out of it. One second. Co, what's your movement? Oh yeah, I can get there. I have six. Yeah, I can get there. Okay. Yeah, because I can't quite get there. That's why I was like, I didn't have my plan fully formulated because I was just like, I'm gonna get there and then use my thing. But now that I don't have to worry about that. Um. Right, but if you get if you move out. closer, then there's what behind? There's a war castle and there are two archers. Oh, don't you worry. Uh, uh, I'm just worried those archers are going to be peppering us no matter what we do. It'll be exactly. Like, it'll be like turn. I think the archers are pretty intent on murdering the people. Right. So if we can get them moving across the bridge. What's the range on their bows? It must be a lot. Uh, 20, 20 squares is um, close range. 40 squares is long range. And that means if they're more than 20 squares away, they have minus two to hit. Between 20 and 40, they're minus two. So what within kind 20. of weapon is that soldier using? Uh, 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 he's got a flail. Okay. It does, uh, it does a not, not small number of damages. Actually, it's more the, the whole thing about the soldiers is if they hit you, you get slowed and marked. Does mark do it? Again? And marked. Marked mean if if somebody has you marked and you make an attack that does not include them, you have a penalty on that attack. It's usually minus two. And then some pi- some people have special abilities they can use when a bad guy's marked. Like I'm pretty sure Orin has that. I'm pretty sure um, I think Zoga has a mark. I don't remember. Like the very doubtful the- transformer. 
<laughs> the Skepticons. The Skepticons aren't sure that there's even a battle yeah, between yeah, the yeah. Autobots and the was Decepticons. There ever yeah. The Skepticon says, I doubt that. <laughs> right, so you're going in. Oh, yeah. All right. I mean, Warren's one of the high guard of the elves. He's not. I need to see some proof, Megatron. <laughs> 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 Boner head. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. What's your price for that? I have like a question about the terrain here. Uh huh. So, like, we've got this pathway along yep. what appears to be like a cliff. Yep. So, in cases where you can push, can uh-huh. you push people off the cliff and sure. go past like a certain. Yep. Absolutely. You can. Like, what would be. Which square do I need to push them past? As soon as they are on a square that has uh, the exposed rock on it, then that counts as being on a cliff. So it, it, it even, even like so. For instance, I'm just going to pick a random square here, like um, this square here, right? Uh-huh. See how it's got some grass on it, but some of the bare rock. Yeah, that counts as cliff. And you push them into. A so square if you push them into, it's, if it, if you push them into a square that has any bare rock in it, then that counts as them being pushed off the cliff. Nice. Mm, okay. That's classic um, overland travel 1970s war game where you have a hex that has some forest in it, but also some hills. And it's like it, you treat it as either forest or hills for whoever the active player is. I already told Anna this, but like my version of the whole like guy who's only seen Boss Baby yes. says, getting a lot of Boss Baby vibes. Yeah. I'm like, getting a lot of Bloodborne vibes. <laughs> I consider that a compliment. My friends and I, um, when we went and saw a movie called The Thirteenth Warrior, which if you haven't seen, holy fuck! A lot of uh, Bloodborne vibes. It was like <laughs> this. We were all intensely impressed by how close it simulated the D and D games we played. The kind of like, the kind of like, are you fucking kidding me? Like out of the frying pan into the fire. I thought we made it. Nope. <laughs> Things are just way worse. So you're like, fuck. So that movie rules. Warrior. That movie is like, oh, that movie brilliant. was I done, done so dirty by the weird trailer. Like they, yeah. they advertise that movie so bad. Well, you know what happened? You know that there's um, a probably now actually lost because it was not considered a big production to pay attention to. There's a Lawrence of Arabia version of that movie. Like the movie we saw was the action movie that they cut the movie down from. And the guy who directed it is John McTiernan, who is one of the great action directors. He's the guy that directed Predator. He's the guy that directed Hunt for Red October. And this was going to be his David Lean masterpiece. And um, and Omar Sharif, who's in it, and, and was in Lawrence of Arabia. That's one of, the, one of the reasons they cast him. He was so angry at what they did to that movie in the edit that he stopped acting. He retired from acting. Oh, and um, and the the director that they it was a it was a written as I probably Anna knows it was a screenplay by Michael Crichton based on his novel Eaters of the Dead. Yep, and That's a good book too. Yeah, and um, and he is the person they put in charge of finishing the movie when they fired John McTiernan and took the movie. Hang away on, you're telling me that Thirteenth Warrior is the Jurassic Park of Lawrence of Arabia movies? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Shit, dude, we need to watch it again. But there's like a there's like a three hour long version of that film somewhere. And if you know if you seen it. if you know what you're watching, if you know what you're looking for, you can see how they ref. There's a like for instance, um, Herger the Joyous, who's like the bard dude, the guy who actually can speak Antonio Banderas's language. Or they can both speak Greek or whatever, and so he's the kind of guy that ba- befriends Antonio Banderas the whole time. Antonio Banderas is playing a Muslim, right? And they are there's a prescription against drinking. Um, fermented wheat or fermented grape and so what we don't see because they cut it are all the times when they're like here drink this here you should drink with us and he's like no fuck off we don't do that no we're civilized no get away with me with that shit and they're like god why is this guy being such an asshole but all there is left in the movie is the point where they've won what they think is this big final battle it's not and herger the joyous just like is like fucking drink with us for Christ's sake, right? And for the first time, Antonio Manderas explains the prescription. Up until now, he's just, they've like, why are you being an asshole? And he goes, I cannot 
drink fermented grape or fermented wheat. And then Herger the Joyce goes, it's honey. <laughs> you idiot. You could have been drinking with us the entire fucking time. And he's oh like, God. he's like, what? And he drinks it and he drinks it. And he's like, oh, shit. And that's all that's left is that scene. None of the buildup, all the buildup of him not drinking with them is all cut. And there's a bunch of things like that. If you know where to look, where there's little vestiges of some of the stuff that was um, that was killed. So, yeah, it's a brilliant. I, I, I still love that movie. But God damn, I wish I could see the guy that directed Hunt for Red October is a version of that movie. Anyway, we still playing D&D. Is, is Anna still taking her turn? We've all and seen so Ben Stiller's so version of that trailer, yeah. though. Yes, that's why I was just like, I was just looking for that <laughs> because I ran into this with Tom. Like, oh, we're looking at like Amazon. Thing, and I was like, oh, 13th Warrior. I haven't seen that. Oh, well, let's watch the trailer. And we started watching the trailer. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, no way they use this song. I was like, this is Tropic Thunder. Yeah, is it? Oh, I get it. Yeah. Dude, it's so fucking funny. Dude, the. the the actual movie is so good. If you haven't seen, if anybody in this chat who hasn't seen Thirteenth Warrior, it is well. Then it's a Mimnos because it's um, it, for years on D and D nerd bulletin boards on on the internet, there would be people would say, "Hey, what's your favorite fantasy movie?" And Thirteenth Warrior would usually be at the top. And I'm like, it's not a fan. What? It's not. It's not a fantasy movie, you guys. It's historical. <laughs> like Vikings are real. They really lived. Historical fiction. Yeah. Actually, oh. if anything, it's science fiction, right? Because it's Michael Crichton uh, saying, "What if? What if?" That's the core conceit of the movie. What if a population of Neanderthals survived and persisted, and there were still populations of them on the edges of Norse territory in the 1100s? So I'm planning to use charge with a bull rush at the end of it. So um, I'm going to come down here to this square, but there's a soldier in the way who I'm assuming doesn't get that opportunity attack on me. Yep, this guy here. Huh? Huh? Do, do you worst? Oh, he will. His worstest. Oh, I don't think that's enough. Nope, it's not. Nope. You're free. Not bad enough. Be quicker than that. <laughs> yeah, a little faster. So I'm going to use the bull rush. I think because I'm charging, I get a plus one to it, right? You get plus one to your attack. Charge is a plus one in your attack. D20. Yep, you're, uh, it's, uh, because it's against his fortitude, correct? My strength. It's strength versus... It is, yes. So, yeah, you gotta be at a 13. Yes! Yeah, that will do it. Yeah, dude. I fucking push Just him a little bit to the cliff, off the cliff, and I take his spot in front of the archer. Yeah, I fucking kick him straight in the chest. Kunk. Okay, so he, yeah, this, yeah, this is Waterhead. Eat shit and die. I got him. So he falls yes. down here. He takes um, one, two, three, four. Lauren holds her hand up to her big elf ear so she can hear him as he. He takes tumbles. fourteen damage as he. Um, he takes fourteen Dang. damage. No, he's just dead. Are you kidding? No, this is a warcaster. He takes fourteen <laughs> damage. What? Where? Hmm? Did he just stop on that left? Yeah, but there? like, there's spikes down there. Like, yeah, there's no way he'd survive. What are you no, kidding? What are you kidding? It's not. It's not. It's. It's just like it's. Uh, it's ten. It's forty feet down. He takes a d6. That's you know, that's a lot. But now he has to make an acrobatics check. I'll throw you off a foot cliff. Which, if he fails, by the way, <laughs> he is not proficient. So it's. But he has a pretty good dex. Right. Ooh, that is not enough. And as a result, Whoa. he Dead. fails to stop himself from, yeah. he fails to catch himself on this. this oh, he scrabbles for like, the ledge, yeah, but and just then, doesn't make it. No, the, his, the momentum that Oren imparted on him was too great for him to overcome. So when he hits that ground, he takes damage and he keeps going and he is unable. He just basically like bounces and he's unable to. Uh, so that's the Warcaster oh, dead. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. That's pretty cool. That's Yeah, that, but... Uh, are you done, Oren? Yes. No, I'm busy. All right. No. Your entire build. I mean, I'm about to say so. It. I was gonna say your entire build is justified in that moment, but you've justified it like a million times over. That's just my favorite thing you've done with Oren's build. So the <laughs> the heroes are gonna. I mean, the awesome. the the humans are gonna go. These people okay. can clearly get away. But um, the um. So it, this is difficult. The, the For the villagers, not for you guys, but for the villagers, the rope bridge is difficult terrain, which means it's two squares for one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this person goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This person okay. goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're getting to the point where they're not going to be able to get off. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, well, three, four, five, <laughs> six. That guy's that guy's out, but that's the end of his movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in fact, I'm going to use multi-select here for these assholes. I'm going to retcon how I killed him. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just grabbed his face and I shoved him off. That's one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then he doesn't have enough squares to keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's Anne Polly in her little sweatshirt. One, two, three, four, uh, a little sweatshirt. five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Anne Polly bravely runs out onto the rickety bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, excuse me, three, four. No, actually, they bunch up. One, no. two, three, four, five, and not enough movement for six, and then one, two, and that's, they're done. So this guy's going to end up here, and that's them. So some of the villagers have gotten off, and some of the villagers are, some of the villagers are still stuck on the bridge. Okay. They're still trying to get off. Yeah, correct, yeah. Blimey. Uh, it's Lavellas. Hey. Um, and the grunts can't take opportunity attacks, right? Correct. Okay, great. Because um, inspired in some measure by Orin, I'm going to also not hold the line. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to spend my action point. Ping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, mm. Six. Yes, six. Um, okay, and then I'm going to target these two with the Thunder of the Summer King. It'd be cool if you, I don't know what it does, but it'd be cool if it just blew them off the thing. Blows them off the it thing. Hits. Uh, it's gonna hit. Oh, they both hit. Wow. Yes. Right. Yes. That's the Girl, you, oh, did right. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Oh, that's some good damage, like, too. Like three squares each. Um,. Oh, actually, it did more damage than that. I always forget to add that extra damage, but it doesn't matter. There's only two damage. So, um, yeah, blast them back three oh. squares. All right, so this archer definitely goes ah, bat, and falls, cut, 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 <laughs> flap, and he hits. He hits the ground. He's gonna take forty-six damage, and he has to make a check. Uh huh. Uh, except I didn't roll in the box, so it didn't count. That's a lot of damage, actually. Um, yeah. That is... I can, can I just do that? Who are you, Archer? Yes, that worked. Um, Who are you? Actually, did that work? I don't think really it did. demoralizing. I don't think it did. I'm no, it did not. It did not. It did not. So I got to drag that on to Archer number one and go... Uh, there we go. And then he has to make an acrobatics check to see if he can fucking grab onto his shit. And... Um, they have a really high dex, but no acrobatics. So there's a good chance he's going to make this. But I'm not even sure. Yeah, he makes it. So he's he's down there. He's prone. He's not dead. He's unhappy. He's almost dead. He doesn't have LOS to any of you guys. And there's not really anything. <laughs> there's not really anything he Start can do at this point. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. launching on it. Smashed it down a cliff. Um, and this <laughs> guy goes alive. back three, which actually I'm I'm going to I'm afraid. It has to go away from you, and which is That's one, okay. he's also dazed. two. But the thing is, that means he's off the map, which uh, according to Robo Rally which rules be means that he's no longer part of this. Uh, no longer yeah, it part looks of this. Like, yeah, really? it looks like there's some rock. Like the adjacent yeah. square is half rock, so I'm, I'm thinking he's just gone. Yeah, I think I think off. I think the square, the square that isn't on the map. Uh, if we could see it, it would be a rock square, and he would he would do the same thing. And he just literally, you hear him, you hear his body bounce off the um, ledge down Ooh. there, and then fly off into the ravine. And he screams, and you hear his scream go, "Ah!" 
and it goes for a long time and it doesn't it doesn't you don't hear it kind of go you don't hear it get cut off it just fades until you can't hear it anymore hmm. yeah Woo. so that's archer number i'm gonna remove both these archers because um even the one that's still on the map what's he gonna fucking do he's stuck down there he might be able to climb he might be able to climb up in like an hour which means all that's left is these fucking grunts, actually, somewhat surprisingly. Soldi, There's a soldier in there. So, oh, okay, good. It's, it's, it's still some drama left. Soldi, can you do anything? Soldi knows. Um, Soldi knows. <laughs> I like to say that at the dinner table. Oh, no. <laughs> be a meme in my house. <laughs> I'm gonna get that I'm I used like, to always, when my players... Like, <laughs> I don't know everything. <laughs> Whenever my players ask... About something that they don't know about. I just, oh, I don't know. But now I'm going to say Solvi knows. Solvi knows. Uh, Solvi. Critical. Yeah, Solvi did max damage to that dude. Um, Holy oh, shit! Solvi. Solvi really pulls out. Solvi pulls out a, a flask of black oh. oil and throws it at the soldier. When the flask hits and the glass breaks, the liquid like comes alive and wraps around the soldier and crushes him, but also holds him in place. So not only is he wounded, <laughs> um, he is immobilized. Solvi's done. Solvi does know. Uh, so, uh, so, yep, that's he, this guy can't do anything. He doesn't have a ranged attack. He doesn't have a ranged attack, so that's the soldier's done. Sir Vanazor. Oh, okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. It's see. barbecue time, baby. Oh, this would be, be a good chance for a fucking burst. You could see this would be good for yeah. fire breath or some shit. Yes, or sir. Or, or a great cleave. Oh yeah, I mean, but yeah, you have enough movement to get or right both. Between all of them. Or both. Maybe. First one, then the other. Two, three, four, five, six. Aha! Right in the middle. Uh, actually, how does great cleave work? <laughs> Let me check on that one. Uh, each enemy in burst you can see uh, blah 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 okay each enemy in burst I can see that's everyone around me right <laughs> yep basically I'll just target everyone yep right okay so I'll target everyone two three four five and I'm gonna great cleave yes. these fuckers <laughs> you could can... how much uh, it? some heads are gonna roll wow and we got go. one miss, it looks like, I can see, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to do damage on the go, Great Cleave. Dead. You only killed uh, one, dude? Uh, what the fuck? Well, what, what went wrong there? Did you not hit the others? Miss. Hang on, stand by, stand by. Miss. 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 Hit. Miss. Is it because only one of them wasn't a... Uh... You only hit two dudes. Oh, really? Oh, what? Okay. So you hit Soldier one. 2 and you killed the Grunt. Yeah, these guys have uh, these guys have um, bonuses to their armor class if they're standing next to other uh, blood skulls. Well, you know what? Let's uh, take that off, and we can drag and breath. Just let me think now. How the best way to deploy that would be? Three of them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the three, right? Yeah, because yeah. post blast three. Yep, which is a. Uh, oh yeah. Minor action, so one, two, three. There yep, we go. go. Dragon breath, come on now. And this is not against AC, I don't think. Ooh, 18, 18, and a four. So that's three hits, actually. Even the four hit. <gasps> Whoa, uh, even the four right. hits. Yeah. Let's do some damage. Does max, max damage. Max damage. Die. Yeah. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> yes. Holy shit, okay. dude. Killed four dudes in one turn, including it with dragon breath. In, yeah, How cool is including that? the soldier who had fifty hit points when he started off. You just incinerated them. Yep. <laughs> that means I took everyone out to uh, zero hit points, which means I held rising fury. Rising fury. <laughs> oh, oh god, got that on me there. And who's this wanker right next to me? He's a grunt. Let me think. Uh, well. <laughs> There's nothing else left, is there? Nope. So let's click my action point. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't roll anything yet. Wait. Oh, I'm waiting. There you go. Now do it. Thank you. <laughs> Bam. And I'm going to target this fuck face, and I'm going to give him a howling strike right into the smash. Bam. Yep. That will be a hit. And then Zamaj. 
Jesus, man, that's almost See, max yeah. damage. That would have, that would almost, that would have, that would have, yeah. You killed him in this lifetime and multiple lifetimes afterward. Yep. It's very that's, dead. That's enough of them. Uh, Sir Vanazor, the one of uh, the last dragon knights, successfully incinerates several several blood skull hobgoblins, um, clearing the area. The humans, and now we enter into. So now the humans are all able to make it across. It takes them a little while, obviously. Um, no, 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 no. And then, what do you guys do? There are there is size of Pertwee's club. We can't be <laughs> Sorry, we can't be no. far away from them. Oh yeah, let's follow. Yeah, let's go yeah. across the bridge. Let's catch up. There are uh, we're coming. We're coming. You can see. Uh, let's see. Hang on one second. I fucking knew it. Uh, that that dude is uh, not exactly there, uh, but he is at the head of this huge army of. Blood skulls that are uh, that uh, are cut the bridge. So you, you want me to cut the bridge? Yeah, you guys are out of combat. This is not. <gasps> we're just, not. We're not going by just, initiative. Oh no! Let's just okay, go. Okay. Yeah. Run! 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 Get across there and cut the bridge. Sylvie! Sylvie! Oh yeah, Sylvie. Sylvie knows. Sylvie knows. Sylvie knows. Sylvie knows. Tiny, knows. tiny bridge. Tiny bridge. Tiny bridge. Sylvie knows. Sylvie knows. Lauren. Lauren, you're blocking the way. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, we're in space now. Again. <laughs> all right, who's gonna cut the bridge? We're I think all. it's me and Vanazor. We're standing at either end of the, either post of it, okay. and it's like axe on one side, sword on the other. Ah. <laughs> Bloodlord Vorax rages at you. No! No! the bridge you see uh, the ropes begin to fray and then eventually split and the rope bridge falls limp down to the um, the the part you guys are at falls down to you can't even see it so far it's the mist is so close to you that it disappears into the mist the other part of the bridge is still connected but there's no facility for them to uh, for them to reconnect it and um, blood lord vorax barks a command in his native language. Um, <laughs> Orin's gone mad with power. Yeah. <laughs> and you watch as um, hundreds of blood skull hobgoblins line the northern side, which in this map is the right side, the northern side of the ravine, and they're all so there's, you know, almost to the horizon, all you can see is the red furred blood skull hobgoblins, and they're all like looking behind them, and they're gesturing, and you you see as behind Blood Lord Vorax this huge ladder, it's a siege ladder that's normally used to you know, um, scale a large castle but in this case these ladders just uh, coincidentally are long enough to cover the gorge and this huge oh, no, 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 no. You gotta go. <laughs> this huge ladder comes up and and they raise it and then it for a second it's just standing straight up and then it topples down and it slams and it vibrates but it holds and it creates an impromptu bridge and then you see another ladder come up and then you see another ladder come up and there's five six seven eight twelve of these ladders and there's about to be a huge swarm of hobgoblins crossing the bridge there is no possible way for you to stop all of them the humans are are terrified they are they start running and then suddenly all the humans scream and stop for a reason that's not obvious to you they see something to the south that directly in front of them and you hear a voice call out uh you hear a very uh basso profundo voice say Zogaborhart, you swine you three-legged dog what are you doing in what is still our territory and there's uh 
out of the forest on the other side of the ravine with you folks stepping out from the trees that the humans were moving between is a um, roughly, you know, pretty significantly large army of orcs led by a... uh, (laughs) Led by a kind of a, a Zoga Borhart looking like a he's about seven and a half feet tall, uh, massively built orc war leader. Oh, slide you three like a dog. <laughs> oh, bone breaker catacav. <laughs> uh, he steps, he steps forward and sort of like confronts you, uh, and says, What's this? Your new tribe? Like a challenge, do you? You could say that. We've come to see if your dice game's improved. (laughs) Uh, If you remember, I don't lose. I do remember. But, uh, you know, and I, I, I wipe some of the blood from my face and kind of remember that, you know, we've had a bit of a day. And I look at him and I say something to the effect of, like, you know, do you want to keep up that streak? And I gesture behind me to the hobgoblin siege ladders that are going across the cliff. <laughs> ah, I see you've uh, accumulated more. F- what's what's the what would be the orcish word for this? He he says an alien word that translates into common as fans. <laughs> <laughs> you accumulated more fans, and then he kind of looks at his his uh, his people, right? And the they well, they all dwarf the humans. Even the tallest of the humans is not as big as one of these orcs. And um, he's like, and he looks at the blood skulls that are swarming across the bridge, or the, the improvised ladder bridges, and he says, "Well, it's a little inconvenient, but we can improvise." Stormbreakers, show our friends to the north. Who rules this side of the ravine? And the ghost tribe of the orcs surge forward silently. This is very similar to the way Zoga fights. And uh, Borhart, I mean, not Borhart, but um, uh, Bonebreaker Katakav stands and watches while his men go and slam into the hobgoblins. And they, each one of them, they, they stop the flood of hobgoblins across the ladders to kill hobgoblins and start hacking at the ladders. And uh, after a few moments, ladders start tipping over as the orcs grab them and flip them and hobgoblins go flying off. And dozens of hobgoblins are flying to their deaths. And eventually uh, you just see there's a, still an army of hobgoblins on the other side, but there aren't any ladders. The, ho- the orcs have taken care of all of them. Well, I'll turn to I'll turn to Bonebreaker Catacav and say, and say, well, I owe you one. <laughs> if I don't already owe you money, for that matter, I will give you the opportunity to collect. And then he and the, he he he'll he's happy to escort you guys out of here. Yay! Let's, let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. Um, Hell yeah. Bonebreaker, Katakav, and Zoga have a lot of catching up to do an explanation. He wants to kind of be debriefed uh, as you guys move through the forest, and uh, it takes you a little. It takes you a little while, but uh, after some number of hours, uh, you begin to the, the the trees begin to thin, and the humans start cheering and running forward. And the entire time through here, the humans are super like they're they're terrified of the orcs, uh, and the orcs sort of ignore the humans. Until eventually the, the humans start cheering and they start running forward. And they leave the forest and there's a rolling plains and hills and beautiful blue sky and sun. And you can see in the distance there's a road and there's a town. There's a inn with a chimney with smoke coming out of the top of it. Uh, and Bonebreaker Katakav turns to Zoga and and extends his arm and says, this is as far as we go. Bonebreaker, you son of a bitch. And I grab his hand and it's like the bro grab from... Oh, yeah, absolutely. From Predator, it absolutely you know? Is, yeah. <laughs> and he, uh, uh, Katakav turns and looks uh, to the north and he says, I have a feeling we'll meet again. You know, I kind of hope so. 
And next time I'll be the one returning the favor. Um, that's the end of Dusk Book One. Yes! Yay! <laughs> nice. You have successfully escorted the remaining humans. More than half of them lived. Enough. Well enough. And we did a lot more than that. <laughs> um and we cut to some time later in um, a small room without windows inside it's a the wood it looks to be inside an inn perhaps mm, there's a wooden floor wooden ceiling there's a bed there's a cot it's large enough for any number of the party to be in this room if you want to be but in this room there's a table there are two chairs sitting at one of them is Satati mm-hmm. and sitting and uh, sitting across from her is Ko and on the table are arranged a selection of small metal bowls some of them of different sizes and crystal glasses and she has on the table lying flat as a small mallet and there's a flask of wine and she takes the wine and she fills a cup of the glasses up to different heights and she's like measuring them carefully and then she sits across from you and says tell me of your vision Ko I um I had a walking dream there was a busy anthill was um the ants were laboring I was interested they all were busy, as ants are. One of them, one of them looked like me. There were many other ant mounds around it. They looked like mountains. The mountains I know. The hills. Then there were snakes. Snakes erupted from the ground. They attacked the mounds. Little ants tried to defend their homes, and they fought bravely, but snakes destroyed every mound. Hundreds of ants, including the ant that I think may have been me. Do you make of this? She uh, takes the mallet and strikes the bowls and strikes the glass and each one produces a different rings out with a different sound um there's nothing particularly magical about this as you can tell this is exactly the same thing would happen if you were doing this but she listens to the harmonics that are created her eye she closes her eyes she breathes in and she says snakes how many snakes five five she rings she's she every once in a while as the harmonics start to die off she will strike another glass or strike another bowl and create a new wave of sound and it's these sounds or they uh, each thing struck generates a different harmonic and they interfere and they create these overtones and she's listening to the sounds that the bowls and glasses are making and says five five is a a very unlucky number to my people. Uh, Why? She, without opening her eyes, she sort of like her, her shoulders raise like she's shrugging and she says, I, I do not know. Um, she says, and then with, again, without opening her eyes, she strikes a, a glass, it rings out, and she says, what color were these uh, snakes? Hmm. There were different colors. None of them the same. Uh, mm, she says, and she rings out more. And there, now there's a disharmony, right? It doesn't sound pleasant anymore. There's some kind of um, new sound that is being built from the mallet striking. And she says, what colors exactly? Oh. Um. There was a white one. Black. Anger. Rage. Green. Fear. Blue one, I think. Pain. These snakes, could you see their whole bodies or just their heads and necks? 
bust their heads and necks. A great oppressive weight begins to press down on the room as though like, like an elephant is standing on your chests, making it hard to breathe. The candles that light the room begin to dim and diminish and get smaller and smaller and the air becomes stale and Satati, your eyes still closed, strikes another bowl, strikes another glass and says a great, a great burning fire, never ending heat, burning, revenge, freedom, rage, white hot, as hot as the and the glasses and bowls all shatter and Satati screams and her eyes open and uh, they're unseeing. She looks around and falls down out of her chair and Demelza runs forward and um, she's still, Satati is still alive, but Demelza administer, ministers to her and says, she's gone blind. It's like she was staring directly into the sun. And we'll find out what happens in book two. Ooh. Oh my god. Very oh. cool. Ah. Awesome. Oh. Thanks for playing, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Oh Thank you god, so much. So great running. job. How good was that? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was that was that was some well, I've not played D D very long, but that was fucking great. <laughs> That was some oh All of it, from start to finish. Like the way we started off, like just a ragtag bunch of just beating up some whatever we beat up in the uh, in the first uh, in to where we've come now. It's crazy, crazy what mm. we've done. Uh, oh yeah, except what we level four. Yeah, well, actually, you guys, you guys all level yeah, up. Actually, we level you up. All, you all level up, absolutely, hundred percent. You all level up. Yay. Yeah, well, we level up, but yeah, but you know, like some of the heroic stuff we've done, it's been amazing. And uh, just to be slightly soppy, it's been really great to play with this group. Like Dale over there in Oz, uh, Justice in Texas, Texas. Yeah, thank you. and uh, you two wankers just up the road, <laughs> <laughs> and you, and, you are, and, and the DM just up the road. But, but yeah, it's yeah, been, sure. it's been, yeah. It's been great. My heart. Get people all, uh, so all around nice the world to, to do this. It's been great. I'm gonna Thank miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it till it happens it. again. Yeah, uh, likewise. Yep. Well, um, it's been like super cool, just like being able to play with people. Like this is the first time I've ever played like this long of a campaign, of, like a, and being able to play with people, basically all over the world is super fucking awesome. Yep. It's so. Cool. We just made it work too, which is super. Like I feel like this is one of those things where it has a more of a tendency to fall apart, but you know, mm. thankfully we have OD. Yes, that's true. <laughs> to tell this game together, the strength of the story and OD constantly I will, asking. I just remember. I remember. I will, pester, I will pester. I was so <laughs> convinced that Dale was going to try and use some skill to um, recruit the shambling mound that I never it never occurred to me that you were going to try and talk to it and ask it what the fuck is going on and literally until that moment I had no idea what the plot of this campaign was going to be and I was like well I got to come up with something right now and that's where the <laughs> that's that's where the idea of the shadow elves came from that that I mean, that that's moment magical, well, because right? yeah else, it absolutely how good is, is that? So, you know, and that's where the oh idea of gosh. equinox came from I had not I didn't know equinox existed until I I, I decided I needed it right then and then it's amazing. Yep. So look like at it. Crazy stuff. I can't believe that going through dusk worked. That was so. That was cool. amazing. I. Yeah. It was another one of those things where I was like, I try to tell dungeon masters this. I'm like, you invent the problems. Don't try to invent the solutions. Let the players do that. And when you guys came up with the idea of, could we use this fucking thing to go in? When when Anna was like, could I use my face step? I thought I was just giving you a little cutscene. Was- I thought I was giving you a dramatic cutscene. Oh yeah, when you use if you got the black arrow and you use face step, you see this thing, and Anna's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's not just a cutscene. That's a tool that I am gonna use to completely corn fucker your entire game. I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> that's the moment that it really turned into, hey, um, <laughs> We're gonna end up discovering a plot to take over. The I could world. not fucking believe that. Like that was another <laughs> big moment where I was like, I yeah. didn't think you guys, I didn't think you guys were gonna find out about the shadow elves at all. 
like this 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 book. I thought the bad guys were the were the blood skull hobgoblins, and that and that toward the end you would see the black acolyte, but you wouldn't know who he was or what he was, right? And but you guys completely fucking changed that. I had I was like, that, well, that, shit. That face step moment, wasn't it? Yep. It's like, Alec, can yep. you like drag the elf back? Yep. Like, yeah, okay. Yep. You're coming it, with me, buddy. <laughs> and it yep. happened. It's yep. like, well, we just dragged, we just dragged a whole new roots to this game sorry route this oh, year, right? sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah americans oh yeah. my gosh the prophecy <clears throat> yeah super cool also everybody's characters are so fucking awesome. they're really cool everybody has really good characters yeah we, i love yeah, that we ended we'll, up with we, such cool characters after matt just threw stuff together yeah, right like yeah, it was yeah. it was the ultimate crunch of like well, he I, gave us stuff and we had to figure out who they were that's the yeah. best to me i think um is because like i don't like I don't like the whole like, oh, we don't have a thief. Who, somebody needs to play a thief, right? I like you're like, well, this is the character I think is cool, and then that's what makes the group unique, right? Is the fact that you guys did never, you guys did never. We don't have a healer. Yeah, you, know, you don't. You don't have a healer. You don't have a tracker. <laughs> have, you don't have, have an Zoka. assassin. You have like yeah. a bunch of thugs I'm and a witch. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> a bunch of thugs and a witch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waterhead. That's yeah. the most Waterhead yes. statement. There. Kind of turned out that the Lavellis was our tracker. I was sure, our yeah. healer. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Co and Servanazor were. We had to make it work. Or assassins. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, or fucking Co jumping on, just fucking YOLOing it and jumping onto that goblin spider uh, fucking platform and wiping out half of them. I was like, this is going to be fucking awesome. And yeah. uh, Matt O'Driscoll fucking doing his leaping across the moat and fucking critting that dude and being like, wait, I critted. That means I get this other thing. When I bloodied him, that means I get this other thing. And I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> this is amazing. That was awesome. And I, 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 um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I, drastically overcooked that tower encounter i thought i didn't think it was going to be as nasty as it was but i was like fuck these this is a this is a big deal right and that's what's one of the reasons i didn't mean it to be and that's one of the reasons when co died i was so down i was like this was not supposed to be that kind of moment um and then i was like i was I, I, all i did was i said i'm not going to try and retcon it i'm just going to live with the fact that i fucked up and did something bad and and co's dead and i'll and hopefully a solution presents itself and it took a lot for me not to come up to say no no sorry i made this mistake i fucked up uh you're fine you're alive i was like no i'm gonna live with it this is what really happened this is the tower these are the blood skulls i told them the blood skulls were fucking nasty and uh, I, did, I, I didn't get that to be fair i thought like I said, when we did all that stuff and we, I jumped up the tower and Co was Bro. in like slash assess and we killed this. I was like, well, this this is going to be a piece of piss now. And it was that point where, shit, we have actually got to run from this tower. Like, we've got to go. Yeah. Just, right, and even in that moment. Doing what we do. These goblins are... They, they're they tactical, right? That's yeah, what yeah. we really done at, did our heads in. When yeah. we were, like, fighting, like, stupid monsters like whatever slash 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 they're not as clever as us but these guys are, well they had us they had us over there was a I mean, point i, I yeah. was down co was down they were standing over us with uh swords and necks basically saying to zoga or whoever it was like negotiating it's like what the fuck <laughs> like, how do you get out of that like, if we do we gotta go I it was, was crazy. there was a point where you reality. said um there was a point where you said OD, you're like, no, no, you got, there was a bunch of debate and discussion about what to do once I think you guys had gotten out and you were thinking about what to do and you just said, guys, guys, these guys can do what we do. They're as good as we are. None of, yeah. none of this is going to work. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, this is fucking awesome. This is, that was, and, and, and then the fact that like I had, all I had was I knew that one of y'all motherfuckers was going to end up in Equinox once you got hit with enough arrows and it was, uh, made sense for it to be Lavellus. And I knew that, I knew that the, I knew the Ruby, I knew, I knew the Ruby Citadel was in there and I knew the opportunity was going to exist for somebody to get a wish. That if you could if you could free this guy, he was going to give you a wish. That's all I knew. And then and then I was like, as soon as I were and I had had I had had that on deck for like I don't know how long had you guys been being shot with black arrows? Yeah, the fluke because I re the minute that I was sent to Equinox, yeah. I suddenly had a flashback to like two or three sessions earlier when the archers had started targeting me. Yeah, yep, yep. And, well, because you're a wood elf. Like you're a wood elf. <laughs> they hate you more than everybody else. And I just in that moment I was like, oh no. Yeah. But also, like, it, like, how perfect is that? 
happening at I could the never end planned of it. the retreat from the tower. That is perfect. Like not at the start of the oh, tower, yeah, 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 not, yeah. you know, the yeah, session the, before. At the end of us running out. Yep. Yeah. And then the fact that like you, you had the opportunity. I had, yeah. You, I was giving you a. Uh, an answer without a question. I was giving. A, I was going to give you. If you succeeded, you were going to get a wish, right? But, but as it turned out, you showed up with a very big question. You had a huge need, and I was like, "This is awesome." And at that point, and once I realized, "Oh shit, she's going to have a chance if she can get to the Ruby Citadel, if she can kill the beast, if she can give Eileen its heart, she's going to have a chance to get Co back." And that's when I cheered up, and I was like, "This could work out." And all of that, all of that was not planned. Now, was, I, I could never plan that in a million years. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the, well, so the aesthetic stuff. of it is just so Hell cool yeah. too. Can well, I just say the, as well how cool it is to be playing in a game where, like, if I don't have an idea for anything special or cool on my turn in combat, I know that someone else is about to do something awesome. Like, <laughs> no matter what, someone is about to do the coolest, most cinematic shit I've ever seen in my life. It's pretty cool. It's pretty <laughs> for me. It's it's hugely inspiring watching you guys be heroes and do your stuff. Like be, it, it's it's epic. It's epic. Love the the scene where we waited to see what the giant spider did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hysterical. <laughs> Let it come to us. Oh well, no, it's not. That's not. That's not its plan. <laughs> it's you know, it. that definitely yeah. went wrong. Yeah, that was hysterical. <laughs> That's where we lost most of the humans, yeah. The um the uh fucking the griffin was epic. Right. I had a whole map, I had a whole I had a whole like side quest basically, because I I thought the griffin was gonna grab some old lady and take her to a, her, the airy and you guys are gonna have to go find him. And then when uh Tom was like, No, I'm gonna knock her down and stand in the way. I was like, Whoa Yeah. The and dragon. Like yeah, and then and then the Orange tactics for the dragon too. We were just Air like, let's ground. just grab onto yeah. it and stab it in midair and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Worry about the let's, consequences later. Yep. Let's just for all this wildlife in this forest. And that, there were a bunch of people in chat who were like, "That was the coolest battle against a dragon that I've ever seen in D anD D." And I was like, "That's interesting because there's like way cooler dragons in fourth edition. This is not that. This is not that kind of cool a, a monster. But there's a lot of cool stuff in this game." More anyway. fun to drive a slow car fast. <laughs> you know, and I also appreciate how much you let us like world build in this because that was always fun. Oh like the, gosh, the yeah. parts where you asked us about our characters or you let us go a little bit on how things looked or felt. It, it feels like we got to make an impact on the world. Well, really I, cool. I was talking about this on the MCDM subreddit where I said so somebody was talking about how much world building there is in this campaign. And I and um, I said, these are the first players I've had who got genuinely into the process of playing these ancestries because for the past 20 years in my game my players are like they play an elf because they want they want this proficiency and they want this bonus right or maybe maybe this player plays a dwarf because they have their own stereotypical kind of generic ver idea of what dwarves are and i'll tell them i'll be like well in my world dwarves are like this and they're like that's cool and they ignore me and that's i'm fine i'm like that's fine like i i i don't i don't that's that's all my nonsense. That stuff I think is cool. I don't really expect my players to. And I remember um, actually uh, Jess, Anna, when she was playing Lady Serial, she actually kind of yeah. leaned into the whole like, I don't actually understand why you guys treat time the way you do. That was kind of cool. It was the first time I had seen that. And then you guys are like, um, so that's the thing is you're the first players I've had who were interested in fleshing this stuff out. Because when I talk about like what the Wode Elves are about, right? I, I'm like, well, they're this and they're that. And that's all I know. I don't know anything else. Right. And so everything else is open game. That's what makes it yeah. fun, I think. I've been watching Fuck, a lot of uh, fantastic like a fun guy. Oh, I should watch that. Do you fucking should? <laughs> so good. Actually, I, the, I the edibles are due form. to kick in any time now, and I've got I can just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that informed I think a lot of the questions about like what's up with the Eladrin and stuff. Yeah, Eladrin. The Ela no Eladrin's right. So I, I've got a whole other campaign I have to go get back to at some point, uh, at some point in an uh, uh, unknown future. Um, <laughs> the chain of who? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, is, this is kind of uh, it's, it's who like are weird. the others? This is weird. It's like we, 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 we're we we're all just going to keep going. I thought. Yeah. Well, just this like, is, keep going. Yeah. But, this was. Yeah. I, I originally thought when you guys found the humans that was going to be it. I'm like, okay, great. I should I do. Know. Yep. And I thought we'd go a little bit more. It's been such a. Yep. Fun, fun group to play with, then. Um, but we, this is the. Also, 
This is something I've never done before where I, I think some of you know, we'll see, we'll find out, but this campaign has two different, um, two different somewhat unrelated villains. This is not, this is not the chain versus Ajax. There's a couple of different bad guys that you need to worry about. <laughs> there was a while in the middle of this where it just felt like we were collecting new bad guys every time. <laughs> sure, yeah. 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 Like, we've only just met the freaking, the, the shadow elves, and then we first encountered the hobgoblins, and it was just like, everyone wants to kill them. The headless T-Rex, the... That's the right, the headless blade. T-Rex. The yeah. blade, or, uh, I was like, I was, oh, yeah. Well, even reading that Google Doc you shared, I was like, wait a minute, who's who's coming to get us in this? This guy coming to get us? Like, oh, no, we're dead. Inter how, how, how are we going to do this fight? And it's like, oh, okay, you let us off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought we were, we were just doing dead. I thought someone was going to die tonight. I mean, but nope. Uh, we got through it. Well, I mean, fourth edition is a lot more heroic a lot than of other editions. Die, just not us. Yeah, you, well, you got, yeah. yeah, and I, and I, Co, I, Co, I, Co, Co died. Co, died. Co actually died, not just when I'm conscious. True. Yeah, actually <laughs> died, and you guys had to go figure out a way to bring him back. So, yeah, I thought I was out for a while, by the way. I didn't think I'd be coming back. I was like, damn, that was fun, but what a cool ending. Yeah, that I didn't, I didn't great. tell Justice like, hang on, I got an idea. I just, I was like, well, we'll, yeah, we'll see. You're coming back. <laughs> so, yeah, when next we, when next we meet our heroes. Um, probably uh, some some time will have passed, but I don't know how much. I don't know anything. We'll find out. Uh -huh. We'll find out next time we play. So he knows. Can Cole kick it around with Cole? Cole knows. Cole knows. Cole knows. Cole knows. Uh, I will. I will say that I do. I think that um, the next book will begin to involve uh, warfare, where you guys, among among other things, you'll be accumulating um, units. Because the the problem with the blood skull hobgoblins can't be solved by five rat catchers. That's what you think. Yeah. I mean, have you seen us? We have not. Come on. Like, it's been fine. We're word ahead. We <laughs> are. Ahead. We are in the war. <laughs> my only contrib my only contribution was realizing that that uh, that that night ranger song is your theme song. That's the only good yeah. thing I did. Hundred <laughs> percent. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well then. All right. Thanks for well, playing, Does it get better than that? I think uh, not. We'll Cody, it's time for you to run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Run where? Run D&D. &D. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it going. It's your destiny. <laughs> it's your destiny, Matt Driscoll. I'll go next. <laughs> All right, anyway, for oh now. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Thank you so much, and thank Thanks you for letting me be a part a of it. No problem. Thank you for playing. Absolutely. Thank you for saying yes. yes. Till we, till we, uh, You're all play wonderful again. people. Until we meet Justice, again. Justice, meet a pleasure. We'll meet oh. again. Don't know. Uh, when. Don't, don't be a stranger. The, ch the channel will remain when. open. Anna yes. and Schmuck, it's always a pleasure. Likewise. <laughs> and so cool Ma working with different people, too. Matthew Colville, you are a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on that, on that note, mm. I think I might toodle say pip. toodle pip. Toodle pip. Yep. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. Yep. Motorhead. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. I think that's the first time I've ever really ended a game like in a in a in a in a satisfyingly dramatic way. How did the chain of Akron end? Did it end on a dramatic moment? I don't remember. I don't think so. Um, but yeah. That was uh, pretty fucking cool. That was pretty fucking cool.